So, um, what do you call a cheese that does not belong to you? Nacho cheese. <laughs> and I forgot to do that. The music <laughs> would normally play and all that. So, <laughs> welcome to the A Full Podcast, where technology kicks my butt every time. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Earl. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the A Fool Podcast. I don't even know what number this is. This 112, 113. 113. 113. And so I'm Earl. You know me. You know Joey. That's over there. Brick trains. He's in his basement. And we have a backup down below. We called in the backup quarterback. That is Woo! Stacy from for Bricks and Giggles. So <laughs> Jabo will be joining us later on this evening. Uh, but in the meantime, Stacy is here filling in. Thanks for having me back. <laughs> this is your third time? Yes. Wow. Yes. Yeah. So we have an important topic to get to with Stacy, but we're trying to wait for Jabo to get here so we can we can really get everybody's thoughts on it. Yeah. But you, Stacy has a really great uh you know normally we do a vault set and uh you know sometimes we do a theme, but I the vault set you picked is from a really great theme. Mm-hmm. Partially because it's such a small theme. Right. But so, three sets? <laughs> three sets. Yes. Three sets. So Dark Forest. All right. Let me try and pull up. Here we go again with the technology. <laughs> um, so share screen. I should have had this already pulled up right there. Sure. I feel like I, since I missed the music, I feel like we didn't start. So hang on. <laughs> That feels better. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Literally hit the wrong button on the first time. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is the, the Dark Forest. Do you have all of these, Stacey? I, ha I just have Bandit, Ambush, and the Dark Forest Fortress. So, I'm, I'm missing the mid-sized set. The, the Hemlock string Stronghold? Yes. I don't, as you can see, I, they're all three on my wanted list. So, oh okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't have any of them uh so th what was this 1996 three sets and apparently they didn't even make it into the european catalog oh okay wow so are these considered like a sub theme of castle oh absolutely i think so yeah yeah they're absolutely part of they're under castle and dark forest so they uh they had their own faction right it was a little green moose or elk or something yeah that thing right yeah and and then they had the green the little green peasant people yes so cute <laughs> they are there's there is yeah well castles i don't know castles one of the really classic i i wish they would do more castle um, i do too it, it, it's uh so you have the dark forest one for us right yes okay yeah. Let's do. Uh oh, add her. Hit the wrong button again. Right. Look at that! <laughs> wow. Oh, in the shot. <laughs> so is that another one you pieced together from a collection? No, actually, someone gave this to me. Oh, for oh my, wow! Nice. My birthday. Yeah, nice. which was the <sighs> craziest, nicest gift ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is not a. That's that's not a. Um, that's not a cheap gift. Oh. No unbelievably kind i i was the biggest surprise of my life for sure yeah so uh, what how many minute figures are in it do, do you know off the top of your head i, I don't know off okay <laughs> it's uh <laughs> no 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 that's fine i didn't i did a review of, of it i do have the review but it's been you know over six months ago now so yeah so it's i think it's seven three of them are unique according to bricklink and i um there they are so yeah, yeah this, love the minifigures. Yeah, the skeleton and um, so what is that? Wolfpack knights or did they have? I think they're dragon. Drag, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I love feather plumes. Any set that comes with fe feather <laughs> plumes, I'm a fan of. <laughs> Some of those feather plumes are really expensive aren't they really yes. expensive the yeah. blue one definitely is um, yeah that guy right there is whoops go away yeah that guy mm -hmm. right there 
Yeah, I always like Stacy will find them in in a bulk lot, and Earl's always talking about them. You don't have to hold that, Stacy, if you don't want to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll I hold it as long it. as you want. I love no, it. No, so no, 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 no. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, yeah, we can show pictures of it. Oh, mm -hmm. well, from here. Anything that comes on a raised base plate, anything with feather plumes. Yeah, those are my types of sets. <laughs> yeah, the raised base plates are really, they're really neat because mm -hmm. they're 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 kind of hard i mean the the rarity of them is going to be a lot higher because they're easy to break oh they're, yeah they're some of those are really thin too where they when they the deep mold they get yes um, a lot of them were set specific weren't they mm -hmm. yeah there are a yeah. lot of one of a kind yeah i think the molds they use some of the molds over again but yeah mm -hmm. the printing was always um a unique printing of some kind I don't know. It's cool. All the let's look at the other ones here in the dark forest. Uh, this is the one you said you don't have the hemlock yes. stronghold. I might try to part that one together someday. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, if you're if you're that close, you just yeah. put away. That would just eat my brain up. I would. Have yeah. To. I wonder how many of those parts you have in your store. Oh man, I I take out so much stuff from my store. It's 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 bad. I need to. I'm like I need to actually make some money off of this so I can, you know, pay my bills. But <laughs> all I want to do is part together sets. Yeah, right. well, that's that's the joy of the hobby and, it is. and the beautiful <laughs> part of having your own bricklink store, yes. especially yours because you have a lot of you. You take the time to put in a lot of used brick. Yeah, I that's what I enjoy the most. So. Yeah. It's it's tough though because people are really particular, but you know, I try to only put the highest quality stuff I can find in there. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, that's been a thing that I because 90 95, probably a hundred percent of the parts in there. There's a few used parts in my store, but most of it is <clears throat> well, if I'm building a mock or something, I pull a drawer for parts and and I'll get the parts out I need, but I don't, let's say I don't know how many I need. I need 30 parts or 25 or whatever. When I get done with that drawer of parts, I'll put them back in the store. I'll leave them at the same price, but then I'll mark them as used. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> used part. But like where you're collecting vintage used parts. Yeah. People who are, people can get kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I've seen but that. I'm the same way. So like I try to hold it to the same standard. Right. You know, so. <laughs> Right. So how do you upload your use? Do you search through the parts yeah. through BrickLink just one at a time, piece by piece? Usually, because I'm just, yeah. um, I really yeah. do cherry pick. I'm I'm not, pieces that are selling for pennies, I'm really not selling that right, kind of stuff. Right. So I do uh, really cherry pick for the more valuable stuff. And then I either keep, if it's vintage stuff, a lot of times I keep the kind of inexpensive leftovers. So that way when I need them to complete right. sets, they're there. And then anything, I get a lot of stuff that's mixed. So if it's like new stuff, then I'll sell them to a, like a bricks and minifigs. That's like a really good way to get rid of bulk because I, shipping is so expensive. Mm -hmm. Right. So I like to sell it to either like a bricks and minifigs or some stuff I collect and I'm, I'm going to donate it to schools. If it's like plain bricks and that kind of thing. Right. So find some use for it. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't thought about, yeah, um, donating is always good because it's a tax write-off. But, yeah, taking bulk, I, I don't want to say just plain bricks, but, yeah, bulk, non-exclusive you know, pieces or hard-to-find mm -hmm. rare pieces to, like, a bricks and minifig. I don't have one close. But, yeah, that would be a good way of recouping some of your – some yeah. money versus just – You don't have to, to – I don't have to sort it or upload yeah. it or, you know. So you say, so, do you trade it? I've only sold it so far, but I would definitely be willing yeah. to trade it. But so far, the place that I've gone to uh, just hasn't had anything I was like interested in. Um, but if they get some vintage sets that I would be interested in, I'd totally trade it in for store credit. You get a better deal that way. So with the store credit, yeah. I was gonna say, how do you? Do they seem fair to you on the price? I mean, I know they got to make money, and we've talked about them right. several times where it's like. We know they got to make money, but we also know that that you know if they're buying a set, they're going to give you a fairly low price on set. So I don't know how they did right. on bulk. Um, I I mean I don't know the weight amount that I brought in, but like a 
what was it? Maybe like a 32 ounce or 32. What is it? Gallon tote. Yeah. I, I think I got like 120 for bringing in one of those. That, ain't that doesn't seem bad. Like yeah, it no mini figures, And I've already like cherry picked it for right. everything that's valuable. So I was like, that's more than enough for me. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. Well, and then you know what you have, or basically you already know what you have in it. So you're being, as a businesswoman, you know what you got to do to make money. So even if it's, even if you know you could work at it to make more money, that your time right. is valuable. Time versus so, effort. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So at some point you have to just say, this is worth the money because I don't have to put the time in it. So exactly. That's, um, um, yeah, no, that's a good, and we were, um, uh, me and or Earl was talking, I was going to say time versus valuable or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Earl was pointing out the other day about the video, how the one character in it has gone up. What is it? A hundred something? Yeah, it's um, the dragon. I just, yeah, there's two dragons. Yeah, one of them, I think, is in a set and one of them is in the, in the, the video CMF series or whatever. The Dungeons and Dragons? No, no this is the, no, video. the video. Oh, you know, oh, oh video. video. Okay. Gotcha. They, but a, that for guy some there. Reason, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. For some He's reason, yeah, they are they are between eighty and a hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. I didn't know anyone wanted video stuff. <laughs> well, but it, it's the dragon it, headpiece. Okay. It, gotcha. it was in series two, which didn't make it to a lot of store shelves because it kind of got canceled, but it was already um, produced. And mm -hmm. so it was pretty limited. And then all of a this sudden, stuff, I think they took off when the Dungeons and Dragons CMS came off. Well, mm -hmm. I was trying to look. I think the red. Uh, sorry for my face in the camera. That was rude. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I don't guess they did. I don't see it over there, but it is a cool minifigure. Head. It it's is. in the castle yeah. or. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. This one's only worth like forty. This yeah, is the one that was in the set. Okay. So this, yeah, yeah, but still, yeah. for it to just be laying on my desk and Earl said something about it, I was like, oh, I think I got one laying here somewhere <laughs> on the desk. Earl. Yeah. Was laying on the desk. Well, I knew. I figured you had the blue one because that's you got that as part of your uh, have was, them all series. That was part of the CMF collection. Yeah. yeah. Um, the um, the other one, and that you know, I so I got to thinking when you. It's like now, nah, do I have to go collect all of the rest of the video to? But yeah, I collect the CMF series. I don't. No, know you don't like video. Collect yeah, I'm not collecting all the video stuff. <laughs> so it's it's crazy. So I got a ton of those when they discontinued them, but I'm assuming none of those are worth anything. <laughs> but they were like two bucks for those boxes. So right. yeah, yeah, those weren't in the boxes. They were in the yeah. actual. So the the um. Someone I follow, he uploads used parts. His store is almost all at used parts. And he, he just bought a new fancy little camera, which I don't think was that expensive. Mm -hmm. And he has it, I think he uses, he said brick and eyes, but I don't know if he was making a joke or if that's what he was, the program he was using. Is it? He was, he was either using brick store or brick and eyes. But I think brick and eyes is in brick store. Right? Okay. Then that, that, that's what he, yeah. Then that's what he was using. And he, Basically, his camera points at his desk, and he puts the piece under the camera, and mm -hmm. it it picks it up, and it it like pops it up in the, it populates it. So all he's got to do is put in the quantity on it. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yeah. and so that's you, in Brick Store, and then you transfer that to Bricklink. Bricklink, yeah. Do you use uh, any of that kind of software? Since? No, I didn't. I did not know that existed. <laughs> We've we have uh, we have made fun of these uh, Lego part identifying pieces of software for years on the mm -hmm. podcast but yeah, yeah this is jabbo uses brick store is that what it's right. called now? brick store and yeah i think this brick and eyes is a a recent addition and it i mean he did he did like three or four different examples and it's like i mean it's like that it's cool. yeah have to check that out because especially for like heads like mini figure right. heads, yeah that's mainly those what are a mean, nightmare though. to identify and that's mainly what he's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah i think <laughs> i think stacy from montana used bricks i think she uses the same software i'll definitely have to check that out yeah, yeah. it's a, and i think i think brick and eyes can be used independently i don't think you have to use brick store mm. but i think brick store uh, or, uh jabba loves brick store he uses it that's how he does it. Me and Joey okay. are scared to try it, but 
to me, it's an extra step. That's the way I look at it. It's an extra step. But the he, thing is, he, is he, like when we're uploading a set, <clears throat> we have to go through and upload the whole set. Right. Yeah. When he does it, he does he puts it all in brick store, and then at his leisure, he can put put it into his oh. brick store. Yeah. Hmm. I, I see the advantage. It's just how he started. It's how he's gotten used to, uh -huh. and yeah. we didn't get used to that. We I if I put a set in, um, you don't put a lot of new sets in your store though, do you? Yeah. No, I, I've never done that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's when we'll just I'll just tell the software, hey, I got three copies of this set. It uploads them in. I tell them to put them in a storeroom, which keeps them from being for sale. And then I sort them all out, find what drawers I currently mm. have with the parts or if I need new drawers or whatever. And then then we move on from there. But gotcha. yeah, he he can actually upload like just the blue parts or okay. just just tiles or something you know he can just pick what he wants and it'll upload it to bricklink which i see the advantage but again to me it's it just That's feels the like way an extra I look step. At it. however yeah. i've always been curious about these people mass uploading these used parts and if that freaking eyes or i mean yeah. that would be a game changer if you could you <laughs> that know, might sort, be, of yeah. pile of, sort of pile of bricks and you know just use that little camera and Right. Well, I, I yeah, I, I know. I'm sure you're the same way, Stacy. You you can look at them, and I don't know part numbers. Like I don't know mm -hmm. that three zero zero four is you know whatever brick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I can I, I pretty quick at oh that's a two by four brick or that's a right that's going to be a two by three plate modified or something. Mm -hmm. So I don't. But like you said, the heads, the torsos, oh, yeah. that's that's a nightmare. It's yeah. A, something like that would really be the way to go. Yeah, I mean, I have a bucket of just heads that I'm like, I just gave up trying to identify them. But if I knew there was software, yeah, that yeah. might, who knows, I could have a $100 head in there that I just don't know yeah. about because I couldn't find it. Yeah, that's right. Some of those <laughs> Always the fear, isn't it? Yeah. The fear. yeah. <laughs> so what about, I know you get a lot of bulk, but what about taking sets apart? Do you Do you worry about, like any of the sets you have behind you, do you worry about? Cause you know, we know the brittle blue and the brittle brown. Um, yes. Oh man. I've, I broke pieces today. And I, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm it, rebuilding um, all the holiday sets right now. And some of those early ones are just, it, you're on pins and needles the whole time rebuilding them. I shattered a couple of dark red pieces, a couple of reddish brown pieces. So um, it yeah. Sucks. It, and then, yeah. And then when you take it apart, if you're taking it apart to put it up, put it away, and you're putting it in a bag, you don't know if you're missing anything. Right. right. Because you're just taking it apart what you have. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, you would want an inventory as you're going. Right. So you, you do um, you do a lot of holiday ornaments and the coasters and stuff. How's mm -hmm. how's that business going? And, and plug your, your store for that, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, for Bricks and Giggles on everything <laughs> but <laughs> i managed to snag the username for that for every platform there is luckily but um somebody you know, just somebody just tried to find it on something you don't have yeah yeah, yeah they yeah. probably did <laughs> <laughs> um and and that's fair you know i've seen people make money off of selling <laughs> usernames right. before yeah. um but yeah it's gone uh, this this year has probably been one of the actually probably one of the slower years I've had. Really? Um, with, yeah. Last year was like I had astronomical sales. I, I was shocked. So I, maybe people have bought, la you know, bought them all last year and they don't need them this year. So but I mean, it's been a good year, but it's um, definitely been slower than it was last year. But I think because of the way the holiday like Thanksgiving falls late this year. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. so I think it might just be people aren't quite there yet We're so. just not ready yet, well, right? I, I yeah. think the election year also has a little bit to do with it probably yeah, yeah. probably for october and you know yeah. september october everybody's hesitant on right so now that the election's passed and thanksgiving yeah, now everybody's probably, picked their side yeah it's yes. just waiting for thanksgiving yeah. your political shorts that you did stacy were hilarious oh thank you <laughs> <I> <laughs> <laughs> you got you got me on the very first one. I guess it was. Oh, did I? Yeah, because you started it. I'm gonna have to. We got serious or something. And then yes. it was like, I was like, oh, you got me. Yeah. 
I love that because people, I mean, I assume people will catch on eventually, but I figure for anyone who's who's seeing it as a new, like they're new to my page, mm -hmm. I might be able to still get them. Right. But I, I, my acting's not that great. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, you got serious and I, yeah. I thought, wait, what is she doing? What's going on? Yeah. So then it's like, you know, cause I, you know, if I'm watching stuff, I'm halfway paying attention and you know, I'm like, Oh yeah, there's, a, but okay. yeah, when that comes, she's like, you know, there's good to the political kind of, I'm like, Whoa, don't, don't I hold yes. my, my brain the whole time. No, don't, don't No, oh, You got me. <laughs> I mean, don't you just want to alienate half your audience? Oh Who yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whip them up into a frenzy. And, and our, our audience is so big. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, I was, I'm always trying to come up with um, short form content where I'm actually talking in it because mm -hmm. usually I'm just lip syncing, whatever. Um, and it's really, it's been much harder for me to come up with ideas of things to do for short form where I right. actually, but yeah, I enjoy doing this stuff where I try and trick people into thinking I'm going to talk about something super serious. And then it's just like, okay, which Lego set should I buy? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Are you looking forward to uh, having the longer shorts or as Chabble called them pants? Oh, uh, oh, I love that. That's hilarious. Yeah. No, I hadn't heard. What are they moving it to? Uh, it's again, it's like the community stuff. It's just kind of, they're just reaching. They're just, I don't know. I don't have it yet, but I think they can go up to three minutes. Oh, I would actually, I would like that only because um, for TikTok, you have to, to get paid, which I never make any money off of it, but you have to be over a minute. And uh, so usually my stuff ends up being like a minute and 15 or a minute and a half. And then I have to speed it up or try and edit stuff out to yeah. transfer it to YouTube. And it would be so nice if I didn't have to do that. So yeah. just for that reason alone would be great. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're talking about doing it. I mean, TikTok, you can now do up to 10 minutes, which is insane. Wow. I don't need 10 minutes, but uh, like up, up to three, I think is much better than it, trying it, to get it. Probably in. both platforms competing with each other. I'm sure. TikTok's probably Absolutely, going yeah. longer to try to compete with YouTube and YouTube shorts want to go longer to compete with TikToks. Yeah. TikTok won't show my content to anyone, but I love using it to find ideas. So that's the only reason I still, still post on there. So that's interesting that they don't, yeah, I mean, what is the category or what's the criteria or whatever that they're looking for? I yeah, mean, I kind of know what they're looking for, but it, well, it's based on whatever you're the user. But yeah, it's kind of I don't know. I don't I have a TikTok. There's actually a Brick Trains TikTok, but it's only because it was a land grab. Right. You know, make sure I grab. The, right. I don't do anything on it. Yeah. And, and yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, we have another thing that it's a vintage. How vintage do you like your vintage? Because <laughs> we have a really old one here that we were going to talk about. It's set 800. Ooh, that is vintage. I, that is vintage. A three digit. <laughs> um, let me see if I can find a picture of it first. I know. I just realized today that the color change is now 20 years ago. Wow. I can't believe it's been 20 years. <laughs> Look, the, the kid in the room is trying to make us feel old, Earl. No, I, I was there for it. I was upset yeah. about it. I've been upset yeah. about it for 20 years. <laughs> when you were five, we were 30. <laughs> I, I was 12. 12, so. okay. <laughs> well, don't give your wage away. I don't, yeah. I'm not going to find a picture of this. Did you have a picture of the 800 set? Did you send that in the thing, didn't you? No, I didn't send the picture, I don't think. I just put the because it was off that Ardetta. I don't think I did. Because well, it was on, off that look. video. Right. I don't think I sent a picture. Oh, I would have to play the video, wouldn't I? <laughs> okay, so at any rate, 800 is a uh, set back from like the town plan era. And know. oh Earl or Jebos here. Good, he'll want to talk about this. Yes. There he is. <laughs> You know Maybe. him, you love him, guys. So, <laughs> so uh, Stacy has been the backup quarterback. Job. I, I'm sure, sure she's done a much better job. Than <laughs> oh, we were getting ready to talk about we we talked about her uh, uh, the forest and the castle and stuff. So okay. we we're getting ready to talk about the 800 set. No, 800. Remember the 800 set? 
And then she just called us out by, you know, saying that 20 years ago was the big color change. <laughs> oh my God. I was there for it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's hard she to was, believe. She it was is. 12. <laughs> did, did, it, did it affect you? It did. Right. Emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I was a, a big castle collector. Mm -hmm. And that was the big thing. It was like everybody was so mad because yeah. all of our castle sits. <laughs> I consider yeah. it the down the downhill slide a little bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the origin of me collecting classic pink. Oh, oh, really? from, from the yeah, oh, because they went to the other pink. Yeah, they went to the bright. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, I'm not going to find a picture of the 800, but I the 800 set. He'd have to play the video and get that. Screen yeah, video. and I'm not going to do that right now. I mean, because <laughs> our next topic is about playing other people's videos. Anyway. <laughs> uh, but at any rate, the 800 set was so Samsonite was really bad about creating these sets. They, they would want to clear out their leg, uh, their inventory, and they would have these sets that just had random pieces in them, and they mm -hmm. would just sell them and. You didn't, when you got one of these, you didn't know what was going to be. Apparently, according to Gary Eistock. Do you know Gary? Lost, do you know Gary? Uh, he is like the OG researcher yeah. of Lego. Have you uh, ever heard of Gary Eistock? I don't think so. He's on That's Facebook. And mm. I will, uh, he has this book. This is the printed cover page of it. Okay. The unofficial Lego sets part collector's guide. And this goes up to the 90s. So 1949 wow. to 1990. He was going to try to update it to 2022 or 2020 or something. But oh gosh, I haven't seen an update. But there is a lot of really great history in this book. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of he's got a lot of insight and stuff. But he, he also lived it. He's he's older than us. So. He's older than me. Yes. Yeah. But he said that that book, so this all came up because it was, uh, oh, it's our favorite uh, YouTube uh, shorts guy that has the oddball pieces, wasn't it? Was that who had started this? I think so. Okay. Anyway, he's always going to find a set or something. Well, he this picture showed up at this 800 set. Nobody knows what it, what it was, but apparently it was a set just like what Samsonite did. It was just a box of random parts and they sold it in like three com or three countries. So I have a feeling it was, they were just trying to clear some stuff, but it, it's a, it's very rare town plan set. So gotcha. Way yeah. back in the days. I don't so think like it's it, it, today. They were just trying to clear out stuff and they just sold a box of parts, like a classic set, except it's like every set's different. Oh, right. Wow. Right. <laughs> no no inventory. So it, <laughs> It's a town plan. So, did it have the the mat, the fold out mat, or whatever? With well, it? possibly because it came <laughs> in a cardboard box, or it came in a box, and I and what I understand is it had the molded bottom inside it, so that the gray containers. Are, so, I I don't know. I I really think it was just it was just extra inventory that they wanted to get rid of. A grab bag. A grab bag, no doubt. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like now Lego wouldn't do that. Yeah. Quality no. control or yeah. I think they would be knowing what they do with stuff that's been recalled or things that they bring back. I mm. think they would be just as easy. Just, I think to them, it would just be uh raw material and they would just grind it up yeah, and rerun yeah. it. I think yeah. They would recycle. What it. if they did sell grab bags today? They found like old, old, um, old minifig, like a cloud city Boba Fett. And they put it in a you know a million sets, and one of them has it in kind of like they did the C three POs. Oh uh, yeah, that mm. would be cool. Or, or it, it was just a, you know, there's a million sets out there, and three of them have the Cloud City Boba Fett. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Oh, <laughs> that would be expensive. People are necessarily <laughs> buying stuff. Yeah. Mm. Don't give them an idea, Earl. <laughs> you know they're watching. 
Yeah. Uh, oh, um, yes. yes. They're definitely watching. They watch us like a hawk. Okay. <laughs> I, I always say that because, or I think it because I'm like, anytime I talk about something I like, they discontinue it. And I'm like, they're listening yeah. to what I say I like, and they're discontinuing it. And, uh, and like the customers that come into my store, they're, they're yeah. like, uh, you still have this? No, nope. it was discontinued. Why? You you know how many people would buy that? It, you. That's why yeah. it's discontinued. <laughs> <laughs> you were it. <laughs> So the 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 reason that we have you on, Stacy, not not that you're always welcome to come on. I just I sounded so bad. But the other day, a video came up, and I'm not going to give this person's handle or YouTube account or whatever. I'm sure that I have plenty of members in my in my channel that will somebody will throw the link up to it. But at any rate, they created a video. I think it was about eight to twelve minutes long, somewhere in that neighborhood. And every clip in it is somebody else's content. And what and a couple of the people I didn't recognize, and it, and it got sent to us. Um, who it got sent to us on Instagram, right? I sent it to us because I oh, saw Jabo. That's and then what when was. you looked at it, you saw. Oh, I saw Stacy oh. at the very end. Yes. Then when you Did looked you, at it, you saw yourself. And then come to find out Brian was in it. So the whole video is our little community right here. <laughs> Someone's a fan. <laughs> this is not the first time Brick Czar has been in something, though. We just talked about this last week well, or two weeks ago. If you do stuff that everybody else is doing, you're less likely to randomly appear in somebody's video. But if you're doing obscure yes. things mm -hmm. and then somebody wants to talk about obscure things, then it's going. I mean, I've had several of these that do those compilation videos reach out to me. It's like, hey, is it all right? And I'm like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And that's yeah. all I ask is just ask, ask me. But by YouTube fair use, I think technically he didn't do anything wrong. But man, that was a lot of work to splice all that together. Can you throw somebody's handle out in the description or something? Yeah, right. that's that's all I ask is. Like and let and like I said, I if you're gonna be nice, if someone's gonna make a hate video or something, like mm -hmm. obviously no. But if you're just using it to yeah. reference, I I've had tons of people reach out and I always say yes because yeah. I'm like, yeah, if you want to use 10 seconds, 15 seconds of a video, I don't mm -hmm. mind that. I just want my name in the description of the video so they know. Maybe they'll click on it and follow me too. Right, <laughs> right exactly. Yes. So in this video, it says 15 products you've never seen before. The first one is Australian Brick Fan. Then it's Bricksar, then Jabo, then Bricksar again, then Jabo, then more Jabo, then Jabo again, then Bricksar, then oh. Brian from Battery Powered Brick. For a while. Then, yeah. for, and then Stacy. We think it's Stacy. Yeah, then, I think it's your hands. <laughs> yeah. Then the building part was not me. I don't. That wasn't that you. Was someone else. No. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. Then it's Joey. Then yeah. Stacy might as well be the star of the video. Yeah. <laughs> she looks just like she looks right here. That, that video is like three or four years old. That's one oh, of my. Right. It's a super early video of okay. me. Yeah. So, so this guy, he just went through and he found these probably fifteen sets he had never heard of. Yeah, and just put them all together and did a voiceover. Yeah. yeah, I was like, who hasn't heard of time cruisers or time twisters? Right. Yeah. <laughs> that was not newsworthy, but that's just that's just me saying that. <laughs> well, and then there there was another one of Brian's uh, uh, one of his followers uh, did a, a really long post and then went through and did all the errors, all the things that he posted. Oh, that were wrong. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, and he also mentioned like who all was in the video too, yes right? yeah. yeah he called yeah. him out hard yeah i was surprised he didn't delete it because i am you know, which, I leave it <laughs> well, that me and brian got to talking is we we're wondering if this was all ai generated mm. if the script was ai generated because i don't know that that's actually a person's voice if it if it's oh AI. wow i didn't even think of that yeah. is this just is this whole is this channel? An AI channel yeah because I, I was thinking the thing i was thinking is that that would take a lot of work for somebody to splice. I can't take my own content and splice together a video like that. Yeah, it's it's really too much work. 
Yeah. But a computer could do it in a few seconds. I that's that's what I'm wondering. Brian said he wanted to run it through a I guess there's a some kind of algorithm that can tell that if it's if it's gen- he was talking about the script. He said, I bet we could just pull download the script from the trans uh, from the transcript yeah. and uh run it through and see if it was AI generated. Well then if that's the case, I don't I think channels like this, no matter what the thing they're talking about, they shouldn't even exist. It's useless. Right. If that's what it is. Well, they should definitely be clicking the AI generated. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Except, I mean, they didn't do anything. They, that makes me think, are some of the comments, do they get AI generated then? Because like, there are people like super excited in their comments. I'm like. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell now what's. Yeah. I mean, it could be he scripted it and then had an AI voice read it because you can do yeah. that super easily. But um, I don't know, getting it. I, I have tried a little chat GPT to, to um, come up with descriptions for right. to try and like yeah. maximize, um, you know, hits or like getting yeah. people to see my content. And I it does not understand Lego uh-uh. very well. Oh. Yeah, you can understand so, me. It did does you, or doesn't. Did you see Jabo's video on the comment and Jake the AI comment answers? Oh, I don't think I don't think I've seen it yet. No. So have you when you look at your especially on mobile? I don't know about desktop. When you look at your comments and you do you see AI responses auto generated? Oh. oh yeah, yeah. No, I did see your yeah, I did see okay. that. Mm-hmm. So those sometimes they're they're kind of close sometimes, but sometimes they're like they don't even know what the point. Right. Right. Yeah. Which yeah, is you know, the learning curve with AI. I had I had done that video where I was um going through the Fabuland lot and I was like, I asked Chat GPT to list every Fabuland set that had ever been made. It didn't get it didn't get a <laughs> single thing correct. And I was like, because I was looking for something yeah. just to you know put in the description at the end that might mm. you know get more people to look at the video, but it, yeah, so far anything I've tried to get Chat GPT to do has not worked for me when it comes to Lego. Yeah. Well, then it may be that this isn't, it isn't AI generated, but it, which again, it's still a lot of work, but yeah, you know, I mean, it probably would, nobody would have a problem with it. If, I mean, nobody's gonna have a problem with it except you guys. Cause you know, I, right. I think it should be, a, it could it, be a tool that people use. It shouldn't be the end all. It shouldn't be. Right. Well, yeah. they should at least have a, they should be forced to put a link to the videos they use yeah right you know because it, it is a form of plagiarism right yeah so the it. Yeah. yeah the thing about fair use and in, in i don't know how well youtube i mean nobody's going to fight google over this if they they they've made up their decision one way or another that it is or isn't but <clears throat> maybe i don't know if anybody's tried to copyright strike them for this but fair use is usually for educational or news and that's fine if they say, you know, if, if we did something that was newsworthy or educational worthy, okay, I get it. They created the whole content from somebody else's work. Right. Not, not just not just Stacy's or mine or Brian's or, you know, yeah. all, you know. And they used your face. They also used Australian Brick Fan's face. So it's, mm-hmm. it's to me, it, it kind of goes above and beyond just fair use. Although I, ha- I guess you would have a hard time saying that any individual part of it isn't fair use because he's right. used so much of it and it's all so short except for yeah. brian's that, that has nothing to link the time that they use that's a misnomer or is that the right use of the word mis- is uh, that a misnomer of misnomer? It, is, it depends <laughs> on which version of fair use you want to talk about it used how to be you, how do you spell that <laughs> I think the way it's worded. I'm not using words, I don't know what they mean. <laughs> I think the word, the way it's used, because you're going to say like the 15 seconds, because I've always kind of said people that. say yeah, that like 10 seconds, 15 seconds, four seconds. It doesn't matter. It could be one second. It can't yeah, be yeah. right. They could come the, after you. The yeah. but the law. I, mean, is, I use a lot of copyrighted or uh, you know sounds for shorts, and I'm always waiting on the day that something comes up from that, and then I'll just delete all of them. <laughs> right. The thing with shorts is. You yeah. should be allowed, if they're under 60 seconds on YouTube, you're allowed to use copyrighted music. And it's not right. a copyright strike. It's just yes. your revenue share right. with your one-tenth of a cent that you make. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
Uh, I I do plan, and I was actually waiting till we filmed this because I wanted to know if you, you all had thoughts on it. You can remix content yeah. mm -hmm. as a short, and so I was going to snag my section from their okay. video and respond to it, not in a mean way, obviously, yeah, yeah. but just I was going to say, oh, I'm so happy to be in your video. Would have loved a tag, you know, something right. like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I didn't want to like, I didn't want to instigate something ahead of time. So. Right. Oh, I think that would be funny. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think you would be able to do something really clever with that. Right. But I think when you, when somebody, a lot of times people do things because they just don't know that that's the thing to do. Well, I don't know if y'all saw Jang made one of the best videos that he's ever made, and it was a rant recently mm -hmm. about. Um, I uh, I didn't watch it, but I, it's it's about sponsorships. Yeah, and I didn't watch properly it. marking your videos. Yep. Oh, it's and terrible. The balance. I mean, it's like that is one of the best videos ever. And everything he said was just like spot on, mm -hmm. and it's the the challenge is it's I think a lot of it the things that he's talking about is people just don't, they don't research it to know what they should do. Yeah. Right. So they just do what other people do. And if other people are doing the wrong thing, they do it too. And then it snowballs. Everybody's yeah. doing the thing the wrong. Oh, well, it's like, I, I made the mistake once I, I had heard through the internet that um, plan nine from outer space was in public domain. So you could use it. So I was using plan nine from outer space clips that's the first real copyright strike I ever got. Oh, okay. Was from the people that owned the copyright, mm -hmm. and I I sent him a message. I actually apologized, and I had I told him why, and he sent me he sent me the photocopy of the copyright. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I think he was still a little bit of a jerk about it. He could have yeah. been like, "Look, dude, I'll remove the copyright. Just don't use my stuff." Mm -hmm. Right, but. So sometimes there's misinformation yeah. with things like this. So did you hear the story about the lady that took a picture? She put the pictures in essentially in co in the public domain, right? <clears throat> so free use, you, anybody can use them. Then Getty Images came along, snapped all those pictures up, and then charged her for using her own pictures. And the court oh, wow. upheld it. Wow. They, they copyrighted them. And she's like, how? They didn't take the picture. They didn't. And he, they said, because you put them in the public domain, they can be used for anything. And they decided wow. to copyright them. See, that's where it goes too far. Yeah, yeah. that's a problem. Yeah. And the other thing that I was going to mention about fair use, the, you know, we, the time thing and stuff, I think that's based off percentage. Based on the 1976 thing and the very little bit of research, and I am not a lawyer, so do not use my opinion as, a, as any kind of legal yeah. basis. But... It is one of the things that it says is if it's for commercial use, there is no fair use. You have to get, you have to get permission. Mm -hmm. And my opinion, this is my opinion. If it's on YouTube, it's for it's commercial. commercial use. Uh -huh. That's a good point. You he's know what? Not, I he's not a news channel, right? You know, yeah. he's not, making it sound like news though, because he's it's making like, it sound like news. Yeah, right? it's like things you've never heard. You know. That's a right. that's a news headline. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. But it, right. yeah. but he, just like all the rest of us, everything is. If even if you're not monetized, if your channel's not monetized, Lego or uh, Lego, <laughs> YouTube is monetizing you, right? They're showing ads. Everything yeah. is everything is paid for. Right. This is a commercial adventure. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. I have a hard time with it. I do. I, I mean, I, uh, he has more subscribers than I do. So, you know, you're using my content. And all of you got more subscribers than I do. <laughs> and I think yeah. that's the thing that I know it's not necessarily even the subscribers, but the way the audience engages with his content, it kind of, it's kind of irritating mm -hmm. because, you know, the people that put the work out there mm -hmm. to put the, the stuff that he could harvest, mm -hmm. right. Reap none of the benefits. Right. Yeah. But it's like, do we splice together this hyper edited content ourselves? I don't want to do that. But mm -hmm. right. Andy got the thumbnail wrong. Yeah. Did I never saw Mountain Dude, Darth Vader nowhere? I mean, there's there's clickbait 
And then <laughs> that, whatever that is. Whatever that was. Yeah, that yeah. was blatant. It was blatant. <laughs> well, yeah. AI wouldn't know that it's not the, the, the thumbnail doesn't relate to the content. So maybe it is AI. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. I, I was right. waiting for it to be the 15th thing that I didn't know about. Right. Yeah. It's the first 14 I knew all about. <laughs> one, one of the ones that did ask for permission is Phantom Strider. Um, mm -hmm. He's in Australia and he had asked for permission and he does a video like 10 sets you can't get and like seven of them were mine. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was like, well, it's probably more likely you can't get them if I don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> Never talk about a set you you are trying to get until after you've got yes, it. Yes, that's the. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even talk. I don't even talk about parts I'm looking for until after yeah. I've ordered them. That's right. that's smart. Yeah. And, and oh. unfortunately, for all those out there that are collecting Fabuland, don't have to worry about me anymore. <laughs> yeah, you're done. <laughs> they I, do uh, have great parts, though. Yeah. I got the replacement part. Oh for yeah, the, the, for the yeah the truck. Don't break it putting it together. Where? Who do you think I bought this from? I should have looked at Stacy's store, but where do you I think this came? I didn't have that one, so you're good. Oh. <laughs> Keith Barnesbricks. Oh nice. Okay, yeah, Keith, he's got a lot of good things. I hope you yeah. bought more than that one plate. I bought a few things, but yeah, <laughs> much more than that one plate. <laughs> so, oh. I do. We got. I know we're getting close to the to the hour point for Stacy here. Okay. Um, I got an email, so we can go back. We can stay with the vintage stuff. Let me see if I can find. You got any more bulk lot, lots coming, Stacy? That you're going to do videos on? Because those, I love those videos where you're. I I know. I wish I could do. I wish I could do them every week. Um, yeah. I don't right now. I've been I've been buying lots of stuff off of Bricklink. I'm oh. looking for lots, but oh, why? Why Joey's looking? Show uh, Jabo your your gift. Wait, what? Show him your gift, the vintage set. Well, she put it back on the shelf. Oh, <laughs> oh is it behind us? Yeah, was, oh. yeah, for my birthday, someone gave <laughs> nice. me the yeah, it's... fortress. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. So there, there used to be this little uh, uh, picture sharing site called Flickr. Oh, Every yeah. once in a while, I still get images from them. This is not the image that I got. In fact, I can't remember what the the very first image. But I've never seen this Lego system by Samsonite. It it's it's uh, is that, one, is that two, custom? I don't know, <laughs> but it's I it's uh, apparently been on his on. Uh, this isn't Max. This is Dan's Dane. Samsonite. Dane's. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't know how you say it. I was got two A's. It's got two A's. I didn't know if he was Danish or where, where he was... got that light aqua brick. Yeah. With no well, those are your it. favorite. Those are all test bricks. Well, those are bare test bricks, so they're oh, okay. They're real things. But yeah, I now have a new uh, um, white elephant or whatever. I need to find. I need to find that brick that says by Samsonite. It looks like it's embossed. Well. I don't know, here I am showing the logos, but this great thing is like I love vintage stuff, and I, I I do enjoy this that you know they're not making any more stuff from 1970, but no. we still find new stuff. We do, <laughs> we do. It is crazy. So that's a recent picture. This picture is a couple years old. There was another pic. Let me see if the let me see what the original. Pic oh yeah, well here's the original picture that. This is the this is the picture that I got that it shows a lot of Samsonite sets. Now most of that stuff I have, but I don't have that sign that's hanging up in the back, mm -hmm. oh, little, and I don't have the little red brick that's sitting there in the left. That corner little red that might have been a a display type brick. I'm mm -hmm. wondering if it was display or back in the '60s they had these really cool guys called salespeople, and <laughs> they, you know, they would go to toy stores and and do that so yeah i mean it could have been something could like you that. imagine sit, trying to pedal lego <laughs> back i yeah, don't ever amount to anything right yeah <laughs> trust me it <laughs> trust me are you ever gonna get that 610 built jabbo uh i don't know <laughs> am i ever gonna get anything done 
Uh, I don't not know. enough hours in the day. No. <laughs> you seem to be getting a lot done. It's getting there. <laughs> it, it, I, I had more vintage two by four bricks than I thought, so <laughs> I thinned out the collection a lot. So, sorting those. Yeah, you know, I noticed as you're sorting, are are you finding any modern bricks mixed in with your vintage for? Oh, I guess somebody got upset at me because they're they didn't well not not upset, but they just like I can't wrap my head around why you are putting your modern bricks in as I sort with the vintage ones. So I kind of stopped worrying about separating them. I used to put them in two different locations. Mm -hmm. Now I don't worry about it because it's hmm. the way I look at it is I can tell when I pick it up. Yeah. Right. So, but if I'm looking for it, it's going to be harder because you have to shuffle through it. But it's like, I'm not. I, I, the only ones I ever separated were the CA bricks, the sale assassin. Well, I was going to do that. I, I was going to put them back together again. Um, just so I wouldn't have as many different containers. But yeah, I, I don't know. Well, the CA bricks, they, they don't fit. I mean, a dirty old brick is a dirty old brick, but a CA but brick... But they're so easy to spot. Wall. They are. For me and you, they are, yeah, but... I don't it's know. It's a nice shiny brick. <laughs> it's a nice shiny brick. That's... Do you have any cellulose acetate in your collection at all, Stacey? Have you ever come across those in your bulk lots? I think so. I think I put them in my store, actually. Okay. But, um, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. They yeah. definitely... You can tell them immediately. <laughs> yeah. Immediately. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Before you go, Stacy, or whenever you need to go, what do you think about the new uh, endurance? Let me show a picture of it. Have you seen the seen this, that? Oh yes, yeah. Because mm -hmm. to me, that is like I know it's not a pirate ship, but it is a really good looking ship. Is it the I think version or the the shipwreck the version? Nope, it's not the shipwreck version. <laughs> the shipwreck version. <laughs> It's shit is what the ship's known for. It, 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 it looks, it's, it, like it looks a, it's like a Titanic. Except it hit the Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> to me, it looks like a ship in a bottle without the bottle. Without the bottle. I like it better than the Titanic. I really? It's more I, did, I didn't care for the Titanic. Um, so I the sails and everything on this, I think I definitely like this one better than that set. What I like the the gift with purchase is <laughs> is pretty it's funny, pretty yeah. Cool. Oh, I don't think I've seen that. What is the... It's the, yeah. the guy in the, the boat, the little boat. It's Shackleton oh, leaving oh, the boat. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's awesome. This this one didn't involve eating people, did it? <laughs> no, I don't think they ate people. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know the whole story, so I don't want to quote it, but I think I think they all died. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get froze. So, they, but... Some dark sets they make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it kind of makes you wonder. It's like they went from this from the Titanic to this. They did Amelia Earhart. Uh, what else have they done? And, <laughs> and traffic accidents and <laughs> boat wrecks and I don't know, man. It's I mean, they've had to pull some sets because of references. Right. And so it's like, why what happened between that time? Where they pulled sets that weren't even about actual tragedies, but they pulled because people thought they referenced tragedies, and now they're like, "Let's just let's just put out tragedies as Lego sets." <laughs> so, are, are you getting this one, Jabo, to get the? Oh yeah, one? this is one I want. I, I, it, well, well, you're gonna get uh, get early to get, get the gift with purchase. I, I I would like to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's a cool. It's a cool set. I, yeah, I probably won't great. get it, but I. I'm not and a I may go guy. dark with it. <laughs> go dark with it. I want to go, go with the, the 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 story instead of the ship. You For, know, like, put it. Put, put the it focus the, the focus on the wrong thing, like I often do. <laughs> Stacy, do you do you buy any new sets, or are you strictly vintage? Oh no, I I have a massive new collection. I just don't really focus on. I buy yeah. it all, and it's 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 all new and sitting in storage because I. I know someday I'll want it because someday it will be vintage. Yeah. So, so, so you have, <laughs> it's like, so you, I get it now. <laughs> you get it now. And, yeah. and so you don't have the FOMO later. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So in one of our previous episodes, we talked about what's the oldest set that you bought when it was new <gasps> oh. that you still haven't built yet. 
because oh, haven't built yet. Yeah, like say you had something when you were a kid and you just never got. Well, I doubt you have anything from when you were a kid that you never did actually open. The no, I st I stopped building a lot of my sets in around the eighth grade, if that still counts yeah. as being a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I do have some sets that I got originally for 2004. I still have a few sealed sets from 2004 that um, I've still never opened. Okay, that's that's really good. That's 20 years. Yeah, that's that's 20 wow. years, yeah. <laughs> so one, kind of the, um, one of the, uh, what is it called? Um, the Mission Deep Freeze. Uh, mm -hmm. I have like a small set from that line and then that... Oh, I'm blanking. It's like a dinosaur series that was from 04. Uh oh, Joey. Jabo heard dinosaur. Oh. He started away. Uh, no, it, was the, was, it was the ones that came in the canisters, oh, or was it dino like a dino, dino attack? Dino attack. Okay. Um, dino it, 2010, they called it. The, yes. That, that yes. Was, <laughs> I, I think. Um, Didn't I come think, out in 2010. Right. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. And that wasn't that like the European version of it or so something? So the, the European <laughs> version. Well, now I can't remember what one, one of them they, they had to get rid of the attacking these mutated dinosaurs. And so it was more like they were capturing them. Yeah. Instead of shooting them. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, those are my I still because I liked the little I, I collected everything that came in the little boxes. So okay. I never <laughs> I never opened those. <laughs> these? Yeah. 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 Okay. The um, she's. Yeah, this the steel sprinter. That's the yeah, the mutant. That's the one I still have sealed. So okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> and those are pretty valuable now because they only made what is it five or six of them ever? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah, it looks and like there's, there's five. Yeah, six. Yeah, yeah but there's two different versions of them. Right. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they called them something different. Is Dino Tech and Dino 2010. I think Dino 2010 is the more dinosaur friendly version. Okay. Like he's about ready to blast that dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. Yep. <laughs> so is that a whole different theme then? Dino 2010? They are, I think they're basically identical. They're, oh, they? okay. Here I see it. I got it. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, now look at the now look at the the Dino Quad. The so Dino Quad. He's yeah. trying to capture it instead of blast its head off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So they're basically the same five sets rebranded. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mine say attack on them. I don't know if that if that makes sense. So you got the one. other. Yeah. <laughs> but they were both in 2005. So yeah, I don't know this, why this they the future. A future world. Maybe they recalled Attack and repackaged them as 2010. Mm -hmm. Well, I was looking to see if there was a note under, oops, under the Dino Attack. Ah, now they've done on. this. They did it with Ice Planet 2001, right? It so they, they, doesn't show they, anything. They use years that don't apply oh. to the year that the set came out. Yes, because I, I saw um, Bricklink posted like someone's mock that was for Ice Planet, and they referenced it being from 2001 or 2002 and i was like no it was not from that time it was from like the early mid 90s yeah and i was like you're you're owned by lego you should know <laughs> when the series came out right <laughs> they got very la lazy people in their their research yeah that, i would like to do if i if i work for lego that's i'd like to work in the the, the department that makes sure you get things right yeah. So, Dino Attack show. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Dino Attack. I did mean to interrupt. Dino <laughs> Attack is showing U.S. dollars only, but Dino Twenty Ten is showing pounds only. Okay, so that means the, yeah. the European one was the one they they softened. Yeah, yes, they that softened. makes sense. Yeah, and and it says that um, they're the same sets, but instead of large weapons, the they're Twenty just... Tens have grappling hooks and other non-lethal weapons. So basically, they took the guns out and replaced it with nets. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Now we can't even have zoos. Yeah. So, so, the, so the vehicles are the same, the dinosaurs are the same, but the method of abuse to the dinosaurs. Is <laughs> <laughs> well, how did dinosaurs get here anyway? What what happened? Are we back in time, or did they get brought reincarnated or something, or DNA'd up or something? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's see. What else is on our show notes? 
we honestly I, I, we're I good about well for the this end. one. Uh huh. <laughs> so I said I prepared well. There's a new Blacktron set coming out in January. It's gonna instead I'm of the excited. Galaxy Explorer, it's gonna be a Blacktron and, uh, Renegade. And that is the right number, Joey. The endurance is three three five. Three three. Oh, three five five. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so new, did you I have a picture of it? I don't know if there's images yet. Okay, but it's uh, supposed well, it's to be a holding a spot release. for it. One zero three five five. Let's see if they're holding a spot for it. I was surprised they're doing another Blacktron one, right? Mm -hmm. Blacktron one set. Um, after they did a gift with purchase, yeah. that was Blacktron. I'm like, what is? I'm I mean, I'm excited for it, but I'm just curious as to why. They didn't pick, you know, Space Police or yeah. Ice Planet or, yeah. you know, what the who who loves Blacktron One that works for Lego? That's right it. Now? <laughs> that's that's it. Actually what that's it is. It. I think it's going to be like the Galaxy Explorer, a widespread release. I'm just surprised. I don't think the Galaxy Explorer did as great as they thought it was going to do. So yeah, it was pretty that expensive. would surprise me. That so, yeah. yeah, I waited for a sale for that one. Mm. <laughs> Well, and I got two or three copies of it sitting around here, but it's uh, yeah, it was one of those that they over. I don't know we've talked about this several times. Did they overproduce or did it undersell? Yeah, I think it was overproduced. I, I do too, because I think, I think, yeah, it think seemed it like everybody you talked to has a copy or two of it. So. I think it was overproduced because it was a Walmart, yes, yes. You know? Walmart probably said, I need X number of them, and they said, okie dokie, because they pie them. It ain't like they, you know, they're they're buying them, so and whatever. But. I think uh, I, I like we said said before, as long as they keep doing stuff like this and don't oversaturate it. But I would like to see the the ones they did for the gift with purchase. If they could do something like that that you could buy for twenty five dollars, right. right, and yeah. have the hundred hundred and twenty dollars set too. So just give us one or two a year. Do a right, exactly. Thing. Like the Forestman. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That and even if they did like, yeah, Forestman and then maybe a space set. And then like you said, they got to do something other than just the same space. You know, got to kind of move it around yeah. and different fractions of the. Of or power. only doing ginormous sets. But I think they'd get more people invested in it if they did more smaller sets. Yeah. And for me, for sure. I'm so selective now on newer stuff because I'm like, I just can't afford to keep buying hundred dollar sets mm -hmm. right. i want to i just can't i just can't yeah. up. well none of us can yeah it, it's yeah. They're, they're getting us all they're getting us all priced out of the market so. mm -hmm. <sighs> okay it's like well, shaquille I can't wait. um shaquille o'neal sold sells his shoes at walmart so that kids everywhere can have them mm -hmm. and then you've got jordans that are astronomically expensive so you're gonna make the same dollar amount it's just whether you're selling them to the masses or keeping them to, for the elite. Mm -hmm. So the, right. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what Jordan. Yeah. They just want to keep them elite. Yeah. <laughs> now you could sell a hundred for a hundred dollars and make $10,000 or sell a thousand for $10 and make $10,000. Right. right. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, um, do you follow the BrickLink designer program any at all, Stacy? Yeah, I, I vote on stuff and I always see what's available, but I have yet to actually purchase anything yet. So I'm very <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to open that gate, you know, yeah. the floodgate. <laughs> yeah. Hello? I do wish that, and that's another one. It's like they there's been a lot of demand or like cool looking things, but Again, it always seems to be like big, big stuff. Yeah, they put, they put like one fifty dollar or ninety dollar mm. set, and then everything else is two fifty <laughs> to four hundred. <laughs> right, it gets crazy. Well, yeah. one of the things that we've been talking about, and if in, in Brick uh, Set just did a big article. I was trying to see. I thought they showed <clears throat> when they sold out. Yeah, they do. Here they go. Let me share this. <clears throat> so series one the mountain fortress sold out in like two hours mm. and the snack shack 13 uh, 
so then let, let's see yeah the old train shed was 30 hours so just a little over a day to sell out and then the other two whatever a little over 50 percent one almost three quarters of the way a little more and then you know seven hours and eight hours and the rest of them didn't sell out and then series mm -hmm. three looks like the same thing three hours and 21 hours so we keep talking about is it being a success is it getting right. better but those numbers there now granted they make more in series two and series three than they did in series one but right they're not selling out as fast well, or as well look at i see three. them on mercari the second they get shipped people are just <laughs> buying them in the hopes of reselling them for mm -hmm. a major profit look at series so. three versus series two there i yeah i think percent sold 95 percent sold it's true they were close they were very very close but that's a lot more art art of chocolate and harbor master off that i mean those were up to the what is it so 30? everybody's going to be wishing they bought the lost city because it's going to be the rarest one yeah. now i'm pretty i feel pretty good about the logging railway there were only twelve thousand of those made or yeah ship 37 percent yeah there was 37 percent of three thirty thousand mm -hmm. three hundred <laughs> It's something. It's something. It's something. We yeah, do math around here. I got a calculator on my phone. <laughs> Point three seven times thirty. It's Eleven thousand. Yeah, I was close. I said twelve. So yeah, <laughs> it's more rare than the well, other. Well, I know where two of them are. You have one, and Duncan has one. So yeah. that's Lego. My James. Lego. My James. One. Has oh, one. so that's yeah. That's three of the eleven thousand. Which that's the first video he's made in a long time. No, he's yeah, made, he's made some shorts. Much a couple, yeah, that's the first one I've seen. I'm subscribed to him. That's the first one that has hit. That he showed is, up for me in a long time. He has slowed way down. He has yeah. slowed way down. Do the right. sets come numbered? Like, do they no. say what no. number you got? The, the early ones did before yeah. all the series stuff, but these haven't been. Because I have, um, I've only ever had one set that I think that came numbered, and that was like the twenty. 10 Diagon Alley that I, at the time was it was like, numbered it yeah it, it the I like have a, a sheet that okay. came inside of it that came with what number it was so okay. I had never seen I was curious as to whether these since they are limited to oh. 20,000 if they came with a number so series three is actually series five yeah they had right. two series before this <laughs> oh. those were numbered. and those were numbered hand oh. by hand but they were numbered by hand yeah the, the, oh that's cool though yeah the, and those are pricey because there was those were even more limited. Were they ten thousand? Yeah. yeah, they didn't expect to 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 get to this level then, and that's where they made the mistake with the second series because the first series nobody knew about it. Right. Only people that were on Bricklink knew okay. about it, and then when the YouTubers started doing videos on it, then people got interested in. It. So those became highly more highly more valuable. And so when the second series, everybody, oh, the, the, the speculation came in. So right. people bought them. Series one, they had, they had the Bricklink. Okay, so that was before they were part of Lego. Yeah, so they don't have Lego on the box. No. Oh. And they were, Bricklink had, a, had a, a vendor booth or a special booth or whatever at Brick World Chicago. And they had them on display there before they were released. Yeah, and I didn't. I mean, I, I I wasn't interested in them, but I mean, they were cool sets then. But it was, uh, but it, they were definitely pushing them towards uh, well, the, Lego the, fans, and not. And the first they did, they had a video from the first series, I think, where they or might have been the first series was shipped, and they were trying to do the second series where they had a warehouse with just all the different bricks where they were going through and hand picking, hand packing, them. yes. Yeah, yes. I think these are the um, this the, the entire series is one of the most likely to have the incorrect inventory of anything Lego related mm -hmm. because between stuff being hand packed in some cases. Did, did you watch? Uh, have you watched the breaking news yet? Mm -hmm. Did you see when Alex was looking at it on Mills plate and thought it was? Yeah, oh, I thought that. it was part of the set. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, Jason had missing pieces in his, right? Yeah. And Duncan had missing pieces in his... I, I don't Lego. like Lego. <laughs> I knew eventually. Uh-oh, that's a copyright strike. <laughs> yeah. 
I uh, love Lego. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think you're right. I mean, we're already seeing people who do videos, you know, people on YouTube that are, you know, had a piece missing or piece, you know, here or there. And they're, they're not getting too upset, I guess, but it's, it's you know, I don't know. Yeah, I was I impressed with the logging railroad. It looks like so far that one was they designed the designer of that made it so you could put a battery operated. That yes, I I had no idea. I thought the train was actually the static was narrower. Right. I didn't realize it was a six wide. I thought it was a four wide. Right. I did. Yeah. <clears throat> but I Duncan said the bridge is real fin finicky. Yeah, and he's he said it's you bought a bridge with a yeah. train model in it. <laughs> It's, you didn't buy a train with a bridge. You bought a bridge with a train. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we're at the hour mark, and this is about when we would start doing our comments. So, I know it's yeah, early for you. Do we, do we already do all of the uh, the topics we had? I, it looks like we had a lot of topics, but we really didn't. We had a lot of crud around that guy in his video <laughs> <laughs> oh so, uh, stacy um since you do a lot of let me ask you it's kind of related to that um i i used to always get people saying hey i just seen your picture on ebay of one of your sets oh, Is really? you selling it have you ever had that happen where you're scrolling looking for vintage sets and you see an image and you're like wait a minute <laughs> no i've really? not i have had people just steal all of my content and pretend to be me but i've not had oh, any steal it for I, uh to did you have to make a, no. like an entire channel or tiktok that's in the at making it as they are you is that what you're saying no they just they'll just download all of my content and then re-upload it okay. and they copied all of my uh you know like my profile picture yeah. my bio they'll say yeah. it's a backup account yeah, they're and then they'll respond to comments like they're oh me. Oh my! Yeah. Oh. Wow. Do you do you know how to use the copyright tool? Um, In no. YouTube? So I, guess not. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hopefully, you have access to it. I have it on all of my channels where you can go in there and you can look at if people have uploaded significant portions of your videos. You can go in there and just they, they make it so easy, like. Years ago, I had to go in there and manually type everything in, mm. copy and paste the links to the videos. And I would do that. I would, when I somebody did that, that happened all the time where people would copy your entire entire channel. Yeah. In a, Is this on I, YouTube? On YouTube. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had it on you. Well, I had it happen once on YouTube. Oh, you have uh, it on like Instagram or TikTok? Yep. Yeah, on TikTok oh, okay. especially. I don't know if they got the same tool. YouTube's got the tools, and it's like yeah. they make it super easy now. Yeah, it's yeah. um, it's only I feel like it's only going to get worse, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so when it's easy to make a channel, why are we still? Why is this still yeah. here? <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, it's, still it's there? great to be worthy of being copied. <laughs> there oh, you go. Got bigger. That's nice. I was going to ask you to. I asked them before you got here, but I had gotten a message about from mm. YouTube about like a bonus for making membership only content. I was curious if you had gotten that message as well. I, um, I don't think so. Okay, I, I've never seen it before, so I was. I don't know a ton of people on like in yeah. the YouTube community that also yeah. make membership. But you, you already make such a, a, a large number of members mm -hmm. only mm -hmm. videos. Is it, it's think, not asking you to click a link or anything, is it? It doesn't look suspicious. Does it? No, I went through and it's, um, it was from YouTube directly. And then yeah. it took me to YouTube. It was all legit. So, um, and it was a very small amount of content. It's basically the same rate I'm already making yeah. content at, but they're giving you like a bonus for doing it. So oh, wow. I, I was just curious because I barely make any money off of membership, but I, I like doing it. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the goal is to, to grow, obviously. So I just was curious as to I'm trying to ask other people who are also. I, I think there was something when I first did it where if you got so many members, you got like a five hundred dollar bonus or something oh, wow. like that. Oh. But gotcha. I know you know we're close to. I bet that. you've hit a threshold, Stacy, yeah. that that's kicked yeah. that out and said, 
How many members do you have, Jabo? 40. 40. So she's significantly more than you. She's 70, you said? Yeah. So, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just at 20. So yeah, I bet you've I bet you've reached probably 70 or 75. There's probably a threshold there that says, hey, you know, do what, you know. Which I'm is just hoping it's like the start of yeah, you know, because Instagram used to do that where you would make content like if you did reels, you'd get paid for them. So, so be nice. <laughs> so I I was late to the game on that because I I was getting the notifications from that, and I was like, okay, like January two years ago, I said like, I'm going to do it, mm -hmm. and I did it, and it was super easy. Yeah. Like, oh, this is great, and then yeah. then they ended it. So yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. I ended it for everybody. <laughs> But like, we're going to get guys like this making content. We better end it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully you all will get the, get the email too. At some point I ne had never, I, you know, I've been doing membership stuff for like a year and a half now or so. Yeah. Um, so I just didn't know if it was everybody that does membership content was getting this or if it was something. Yeah. Well, you maybe, do it. maybe it's 50, maybe 50 people. Is maybe. Like maybe. Yeah, yeah. Since you're, yeah. You're over that amount. So, I, I just got to say, you do it right, you do, the way you do it. And I, I always feel like I'm neglecting my members. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm neglecting, and I still no. do two or three videos a month usually, but they're short. So I, yeah. I, I still feel bad about the level of, I'm like, I should do more. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a way for people to support creators they like. And, right. so, and that's, the, that's it, right? They like yeah. you. So they're, they're, will, they're willingly walking into that yeah. knowing, you know, so I don't. I don't support mine as well as I should. Sorry, members, but I hate know. you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> and you know how to unsubscribe. <laughs> so, I, hey, have you ever had to block a member? Wait, no, I don't. I, how do you I, unsubscribe? I have to get Rocket Money to unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I mean. I never blocked a member, but I did stop responding to one oh. that was mm. was writing stuff that I was like, I don't care for no. this. And they eventually left the program. So, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I could. Yeah, I could. And I, I know you've talked about that before, being being female in this and being public like you are. It is a problem. Right. I love the that. Eyes the, are the, creepy. The <laughs> video you made about um, the, the fake. I guess you use the fake percentages. Those, oh yeah, you know, uh, great. Those, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those I hilarious. I do enjoy messing with with people. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going anywhere? Uh, any cons coming up? Any plans for next year? Or? I am debating on the Atlanta. Uh, the one. Oh ah, no. <laughs> so. I've heard I've heard good things about it, and mm. that one's like the next closest one to okay. where I am. So, so are you going, Jabo? We that's one because <laughs> I've made. I know it just you go out. No, it's like I I don't know. It's just I don't know if I want to go for all four days. It's, uh, it's getting better. Lot. They're learn. They are learning because they got so many people that are came out of that Brick Fair Alabama void, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you got ones like M and R that are coming in and wanting to do stuff. So uh, yeah. When is, I mean, it? when is it? I think February. 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 So I need to make plans if I'm going to, cause that's, we got to get, you need to go. Cause it's just down the street from you, Jabbo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get a hotel. It's like, Oh, I thought it was it, driving distance. It, it is. But in Atlanta traffic, it's like two hours. Well, and... yeah. I, okay. Uh, fair enough. We got to get Earl up there though. Yeah, hey, Earl's. Hang we on. did confirm, though, thanks to Jason, that he's not AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go to Rick World this year. Next year, hmm. you said that last year. Well, I went last. I went this year. <laughs> no, I know you said. I, I thought you said you weren't gonna. We, go yeah, but we did. But I think that they raised the price. And they kind of mm -hmm. did some wonky stuff with the the hotel rooms this year, uh, but I'm, most of the time I'm because I'm a Bonvoy member, uh, runs whatever the uh, yeah whatever that hotel's chain is. <clears throat> I usually get my hotel through them and still stay at the Renaissance, but I I don't know they kind of I don't know it's 
it's changing and I'm old and grumpy and stuck in my ways and I don't necessarily like the way mm-hmm. it's been changing. So I think this is the year I'm going to cut it off. We'll but yeah, go to Atlanta. That'll be good. Yeah. I, so I, I, right now they get the discounted price. Which is still 10 or $20 more than it was last year. Yeah. For Chicago? Yeah. Mm. Well, I, I just want them to pay me to come. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to go to Chicago. That's what it comes down to. I, I just can't it. afford it. So, for <laughs> Fair, Virginia, uh, I can afford because I can stay with my sister for free. And then I think Georgia, I could probably make work. And I thought that would be a, a big enough gap, but because one's in like February and the other one's in August, that it would, you know, every six months go to a con seems like a good amount of time. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you if you do come, I think I think Ant Bandit has a party when everybody comes. He lives like right around the corner from where they have it. Oh, nice! And, and I don't know if you know Ant Bandit. He he's one that does animation. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But uh, I might have to go. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah. If you go, Stacy, let keep us in mind. Let us know because we'll all have to get you know who all shows up. Whatever we'll have to make sure we meet up and exchange sig figs and stuff. Oh, I got your sig fig. I bought one from you. <laughs> Okay, great. Yeah, yeah that's I, I I feel bad about selling them for the price I do, but I literally make next to nothing off of them. I just oh, yeah. you're selling them for way too cheap. I think you should sell them for more. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy that anyone like my mind is blown that someone would, yeah. would buy it. But well, and I you know, I'd hope to yeah, I I at somewhere along the line I thought, well, we'll run into her, you know, and then when you when yes. they pop up. And on eBay, because I guess apparently I'm subscribed to your eBay channel or something. I don't know. Because it's pop- Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I bought it and I was like, eh, if I'd never run into him. So, yeah. I owe you one. I need to send you one or something. One of our, me and my wife's sick figs. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm trying. I have, I only have a couple from people so far. Really? You do? Yeah. Nobody really does it anymore. I was super oh, excited oh, about it, but yeah. okay. it's all the tokens now. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. think everybody does the stickers or stickers. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's fun. Uh, we got a plan on Atlanta now. Six now you guys fig, got me going. Six figs Atlanta. are vintage. They are. <laughs> We're vintage people. <laughs> well, people do custom ones, and I'm like, I couldn't. Have, I'm not paying for a custom. Yeah. I just built one that I thought, you know, somewhat resembled me based on what was available on Pick a Brick. Sure. So. <laughs> Well, even at that, you go two or three years down the road, the the hair piece or the face or something will end up becoming rare. Right. So. Yeah. Yep. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I think you just. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned into Alex for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having me back on. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And anytime. We like having the premier while. female vintage creator and collector <laughs> yes i yeah. would like there to be more of us i'm working on it <laughs> we're well, doing a good job of getting the stigma away from it so thank keep you it up. The guy thing it's not just a guy thing yeah. no no i love that that's changing that's yeah it's good to see yep it is i agree so well thank you for coming and i think we're gonna start we doing kick her out. huh yeah. <laughs> Are we kicking her out? We're not kicking yeah, her out. She I has a hard go. stop. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 She had a hard stop 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <It's> already. <laughs> but just let me know and I, you know, I would be happy to come back at any okay. time. So. Oh, All right. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for stopping yeah. by. Thanks for being the backup quarterback. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Bye. 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 All I right. I don't know what happened before I got here. We just talked about the Black Forest stuff, basically. Okay. And I told yeah. a really bad joke, and I flubbed the intro. What's I didn't play new? the one with the. Mu- yeah, I didn't play the one with the music. <laughs> Did you play the cricket? No, I just played the. I just pumped, hit the logo. Uh, I messed it all up. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. All right. We'll have we to ready for watch the it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Comment. Chris Bricks. Everyone's a full. Everyone's a full podcast homework is to leave a comment. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna lose him. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, I love that clip and breaking news. They should it was only a small portion of it. Yeah, everyone's comment is everyone's homework is to leave a comment that will make me laugh uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> job well done, sir. Yeah. Job well yeah. done. <laughs> well done, Chris Bricks. You, you being didn't even have to be funny. Uh <laughs> Bro, Bro, you just told him he wasn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> Brick Avity, no better way to spend an evening than listening to you three find ways to make Lego collecting sound tedious. <laughs> I have one room dedicated to my city and somehow everything else has taken over my living room. Mostly my 90 sets that don't fit in with the city. Working on the botanical garden today and laughing at Earl laughing. I miss the step. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the great content. <laughs> so, uh, so he's got one room that's his city. It's real nice and neat and organized. And then his living room is just a cluster of all his other life. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that's one way to keep your city straight. I guess, yeah. Uh, breaking out loud, Earl laughing and struggling to speak was a joy to behold. Laughter is a good medicine. <laughs> Another terrific episode. I'm gonna have trouble getting <laughs> hard time to the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> S Dan 359. Greatest American hero was one of my most favorite shows yep. when I was a kid. Oh, uh, so I've gone back and watched a few episodes. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so cheesy. Cheesy. I know. I know. <laughs> I, I've done that on a few. I loved it when we were so disappointed when they canceled it. Yeah. Uh, DL Bricks, the the Jabo line of the day. I'm married, so I've been to the Bitmore house, <laughs> and with all sorts of regret and submission. <laughs> so we went to the Biltmore house. Did I tell, tell you they had trains when I went? They oh, had a train trains. show. They had, a, they had a Garden Railroad. Oh, so I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And so you tell your wife, I'll be here. Let me know. <laughs> <what you're> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that's she was she was so patient. We spent I was, it was like people walk past us, like in there. It's like people come in, they just walk around and go out. And it's like I'm sitting there with my camera filming, and then I'm waiting for the train to come back around so I can get the right shot. <laughs> uh, Johnny G at the one hour and 38 minute timestamp. Wow, yeah, I've been getting the lol surprise ads too. Oh. That little blind box that has the make your own gummy candies has got me interested. <laughs> uh, yeah, send Alex that set for eating for the eating segment so he, can, he has to make the candy before he gets to eat it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they've, done, they've done a really good job of not eating mm -hmm. on that show. Yep, <laughs> especially when they're at when they're at Alex's place, they go out of their way not to eat. Well, you saw the last one. The they last one brought them in and out burger. The last one they got supper. <laughs> yeah. They had to pause the podcast so they could eat. <laughs> uh, Marty's Bricks. I must be really special. I watched this whole thing for the second time. Oh. oh Tippy toe and lemon tree. <laughs> yes. He got it. That's it. Uh, Pasta nice. Jensen. I could see your cogwheels turning, trying to figure out my pat pending comment as always a great episode and i'm happy i got the time watching it in between my work days abroad this is one of a this is one of a very short list of podcasts that i regularly watch or listen to thank you pasta we appreciate that yeah uh mimi don do lego mimi don do lego <laughs> Two hour and seven minute timestamp. The greatest American hero. Love that show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got good viewers. They remember yeah. that they get the answer correctly. <laughs> Johnny G singing, believe it or not, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not. I'm not George is in it. Home. Yeah. <laughs> uh Kale Jones. Is it Keel or Kale? Kyle. 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 <laughs> Well, it spelled like keel. I think uh, we've had this discussion before. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's a regular <laughs> viewer. Uh, Kyle Jones, the single word when they were stealing the answer machine tape was tippy toe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They said, he, that was the uh, tippy toe. Oh, no, wait. Was, was that Lemon was Tree the, his uh, first idea? Yeah, that was the alert. Like, uh, no, they, <laughs> No, he but was supposed to do does. one, and then he ended up doing both of them. He yeah. came running down the hall, tippy-toe, tippy-toe, lemon tree. Lemon. 
<laughs> uh, Tony Montana, the dad joke today made me laugh really hard. Well, <laughs> you got a fan, Joey. <laughs> I got a fan. Uh, Blockhead had the same fan. response this week. <laughs> Another entertaining a, a fool ramble. I was a bit worried that Earl might suffocate while he was laughing and trying to read the comments. I thought we were going to call 911. Yeah. November 1st. It's November 1st, and I haven't bought anything from Shop at Home, but I am contemplating placing a couple of BrickLink orders for a mock, fod a mock fodder now that I have been paid. Well, she does make a lot of mocks, a lot of mocks. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, Scotty McQuaid, I always build a Lego set watching your podcast. This week's set was, uh, this, this week's set with Speed Champion set six. Mm. Seven six nine two four eight hundred and eight pieces. Wow! Could not get it guilt. Could not get it built by the end of your second ending of your podcast. Paying more attention to you three <laughs> than my bill. <laughs> uh, well, now there's two paid. beginnings of this one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, I use the online instructions on my laptop because the pictures are bigger, and since I'm Jabo's age, it's easier for me to zoom in and see where they want me to put the small pieces. Yeah. Great show as always, and keep up the good work. Thank Have you. Have we gotten better at distinguishing colors on the online instructions? Like, I'm curious about the BrickLink designer sets, how easy they are to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times the, the uploaded versions sometimes aren't. The, yeah, they're not high quality. The uploaded, yeah, but I would yeah. hope that these versions, I haven't downloaded any BrickLink ones. I would hope, well, I did the ant farm, but that was the pop up store. Yeah. But I would hope they would be as, they would be very high quality since that's the only option you have. Yeah. I mean, I get that maybe not keeping the super high quality ones for the archives, you know, especially some of the older sets. They probably don't have, they're probably scans of some kind. So I don't know <laughs> how practical it would be, but I'll, I'll, you know how they'll, sometimes they'll put the key of how many, what parts you need for that step. Right. Yes. Yeah. And then, like sometimes with like the pearl or the flat silver, they'll put a little sparkly yes. thing on the so you know it's the shinier piece. Why can't they just have like some kind of code and just like well didn't they do that for the art sets? Well the like the mosaics? Yeah, but then they put like a number beside them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that was how you but I mean, how hard would that be to just put a color well, index at the front that just says, well, then, oh, this is not tan, but yellow, for the colors that are hard to distinguish in the instructions, like light bluish gray and black sometimes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's bad when they, it's usually if they're together, you can see it. It's like, oh, that's a black, that's a, that's a dark bluish gray or whatever. Yeah. It's when they're on separate pages and you're and you go to your, I have two, a black two by six yeah. and a dark bluish gray two by six. What is this supposed to be? And then right. like, even ah. knowing that problem, I still do it yes. from time to time, especially yeah. building older sets. Oh yeah. Well, it doesn't help that you might need a, a black piece, but then it's shaded dark blue. It's shaded dark gray because so in the key, it looks black, but on the, when you're on the instructions, it doesn't look black. Right. Yeah. yeah no, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So whenever do you uh, when you're building bigger sets, do you go to the key and find all those pieces before you put them on? Or do you... I don't until I make a mistake. Yeah. The I first don't. time I make a mistake and I have to go back and pull a bunch of crap off because I, I messed up somewhere. Yeah. Then from that point forward, or at least until I get bored with it again, I will count them all out. Okay, I need three of these, any four of these, any five of these. And then you go, oh, I can tell you when it quits. Is when you turn the page three pages and it goes times two. Oh yeah. Yeah. I had what was it I was building the other day? I had a mini times two in the middle of a times two. <laughs> like I gotta build four. I told Heather, I said, I have to do math to do this Lego pro. Yeah. I don't know how I I think I need 40 of these pieces. I'm uh. <laughs> man. Yeah. Uh, Ty Novell, aka Tylenol. <laughs> it was funny seeing Earl losing it and crying so much this episode. I'm glad he enjoyed that comment. I'll tell you that was a that was a rib cracker right there. 
Uh, Jason's bricks in five. So uh, I don't know. I I think he does it. I think he does a podcast. Uh, the other Indiana guy. Jones Temple of the Golden Idol from 2023. Wait a minute. Jason's bricks in five. So if they're allowing shorts to go over a minute, you said to three minutes. If you get, if yeah, not everybody can do it yet. I can't do it yet. It's in a beta right now. Yeah, it's in a beta. Uh, so, well, I don't think it'll help him anyway because his five minute videos are always over five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Indiana Jones Temple of the Golden Idol from 2023 had a person on the side of the box until it was replaced with a battery warning. Thanks for uh, making me worry about my old Indiana Jones. Jones I had Indiana Jones on it. Yes. Really enjoyed the employee support group therapy session. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Ever since it's kind of like if you see a car like yours or you talk about a blue car and you see a blue car and then you see blue cars everywhere. It's like now that I've brought that up i see faces on boxes all the time now mm -hmm. yeah uh, when you were talking about the big cameo in dr strange in the multiverse of madness i assumed you were referring to the oswald the lucky rabbit when our kids were watching tv <clears throat> of course you were yeah last thing i like how jabo says we are a professional operation about two minutes after earl's five minutes <laughs> laugh attack <laughs> tippy toe lemon tree the greatest american hero yeah, Jason gets all our references. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. is like a plethora of pop culture knowledge. He is, yeah. Uh, Brick Jams, Earl. It's not so bad having to put your collection in storage. Take it from me, who has had mine in storage for a little over four years. Mm. Most things I I purchased that were shipped, I don't even open the box anymore. I know what it is when it comes in. But the fun is later on when you're looking through the boxes for something, you come across a sealed shipping box, you open it, and you're surprised all over again. Yeah. Just the other day, I was rearranging one of the units so I could fit more stuff in. One of the units. One, one of, of the, the units. units. Wow. So I could fit more stuff in, and I had come across some three set, three set gift sets that the Walmart had been selling. I knew that I had bought several. There were only $20. When I started counting, I realized I had bought a total of 17. <laughs> I didn't realize I had bought that many, but in my mind, that was an odd number to have. So I did what any normal AFOL would do. I bought three more to make That's it easy. Three. Three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not one, not two, three to make it an even 20. Yeah. Now, Earl, with having to store your collection, you're not thinking about future content. I can see it now. What's up, guys? Today I got a haul for you. But it's not any haul. I bought a storage <laughs> <laughs> Now let's see what's in it. Then you can cut the lock off and throw open the door. Guys, I think <laughs> And then you hear a group of kids yelling, yay. <laughs> oh. We're going to have to get a new comment reader. We're going to need to get Justin to translate. <laughs> Woo! Now this Cajun speak is coming out now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It says you hear a group of kids yelling, yeah, it blows my eardrums. He's doing it again. <laughs> Just move forward. Just move <laughs> forward. Yeah. Welcome to the A full replay. <laughs> We've done it again. We've lost. You know, from now on, everybody's going to try to get you to laugh. That's going to be the thing. <laughs> I've got tears in my eyes. I can't see. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh... Uh, it says blows my eardrums because I have my earphones in. Uh, you always keep me laughing. Keep it up. Hope to see y'all at one of the conventions one day. Yeah, I could. Uh, that would be that would be pretty classic. Crack open this box. Crack open the man. I think I hit gold right here, fellas. <laughs> what do you yep. call it, Jabo? Fake halls. Fake halls. Fake <laughs> uh, Dude, Jude. Hey, Jude. Go ahead. That's what I should do. I should create another channel <laughs> and do a fake haul. Fake hauls. Just do one video. Oh, you could do it on Yoda. And you could you could do it on Yoda and do it the most amazing 
vintage Lego hall you'll ever Lego Star Wars hall you'll ever see. <laughs> and everything that's valuable be like, uh, who would want this is stupid. Who would want this? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Trigger some people, man. Yeah. Woof. Uh dude Jude. Hey Joey Earl and Jabo. Believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm going with the greatest American hero. <laughs> Song name and show. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, Joe Bowling, I think the new botanical garden set looks really looks great, but I'm not going to try Tiago's suggestion and make a rebrickable mock with two of the. Oh, but I am going to try Tiago's oh. suggestion, make a rebrickable mock with two of the friend sets and some parts I ordered mm -hmm. for Mardi Gras bricks. Thank you, Ooh. sir. Yep. It will cost half as much, and I'm thinking of changing some colors, and I think it will be a more fun project. Yeah. So. Um, Alex mentioned that Tiago said that, and you know Tiago's reviewing it from for for the land. And Tiago says, "Well, if, if you want something just as good as but cheaper, buy two of these." Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Uh, Rob Long got his video up of it already. I think does does he? I think so. Yeah. I know. Uh, Rob Lyons, a good way to get out a call to work. Tell them you've been drinking. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they always they've been yeah. they've said that for years. Yeah, you could just tell them you've had a couple course banquets. Mm. <laughs> Dude, so you know that uh, so that started Friday, Monday we had a meeting trying to well, what we're going <laughs> to they wanting to know how to handle the problem. Right. Well, you had a solution. Right. <laughs> so they already have nobody go in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think was going to happen? <laughs> Right, exactly. Uh, Jason's Bricks and Five. First, life goal achieved. Yeah. <laughs> he said first. He got yeah. his first comment. How did you not read that first? How, what order are you sorting those? In? Uh, they're just the way they come up. Huh. It's most relevant. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Let's see what's less relevant than first. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pressure's on. Did you just say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kona Dog B, you guys are the best. Well, yeah, that is less relevant. <laughs> I hope you can all retire from your day job soon so we can get a weekly podcast. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Got to catch up to the other guys. I don't have a Lego store very close. About It's about two hours away. So yesterday, on the 1st, was the first time I was able to get to the store on release day. I picked up the mansion, just started building it while watching this podcast, and got Cere Cerebro in the book's gift with purchase. Cerebro was only available for one day. Was that? Oh, wow. It sold out. It was, yeah, because wow. I was going to say it must have sold out that fast. By the way, it was not sarcasm about Marvel. I guess I'm just an optimist. At the two-hour and eight-minute mark, the greatest American hero. Yes, sir. Keep up the great content. See you in two weeks. Well, we are here for you now. Man, we made yep. it. Uh, Sega Bricks, SG Brick. Homework. I have bought my first air tank for $8 and a little bit more track on BrickLink. Eight? What did he buy? It Which says one? My first air tank for $8. What color? I don't, it doesn't say. So, um, I got to ask you a question after you get done with his comment. Only seven more weeks until I can put a new layout in our living room. Greetings, SG from Belgium. All right. So did y'all talk of anything? So on our Instagram chat, you know, mm -hmm. you sent the thing about the space, mm -hmm. the red spaceman. The orange spaceman. I thought he said it was the red one. No, it was the orange one. I sent the picture. No wonder you couldn't find it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding the red one. I was so mad. No, the white one's been on there forever. I have I haven't seen the red one oh, yet. Which is odd. I, I no, thought it was the red one. It was the orange one. I am colorblind. <laughs> now wonder you couldn't find it. Oh. And I was so mad. I was like, I guess I'll buy this orange one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's the torso is the only thing that was. Oh, so you know when I no, I bought the whole thing. Well, I, I did. The, I, yeah, I, yeah bought, I did. I bought leg. Even though I probably can get them cheaper somewhere yeah. else, I, yeah, I, I did. bought legs, torso, I tank, helmet, and the face. I even bought. The I didn't buy the face. I did. I, I, did. I, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and do the whole thing. Yeah. And 
it, each time I went to check out, I'm like, where did my stuff go? And it's because they were in two different, <laughs> two different yes. parts. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yep. Uh, Pasta Jensen, Earl losing it made my day. Well, I'm about to make your day again. <laughs> uh, Kyle Jones, Earl is inventing deep, deep truisms now. It's a secret until somebody reveals it. You all were talking about the Lego house tour set at that time. Oh, yeah. We're talking about, uh, how many there were and the different yes yes yeah the different uh <laughs> because they got a different picture on each box yeah, different pictures yeah uh blah great ending that didn't end i wasn't done yet <laughs> <laughs> pasta jensen at the one hour and 51 minute time stamp i have that set with the perfect original sticker sheet Got it from Almighty R. Aaron's Bricklink store a while back. Mm -hmm. Lego did it properly back then. In the oh, former yeah, the Bricklink owners. store. So, so, uh, Almighty R. Aaron. So I have a, I had a, I had a Jabo moment when I, you know, I started cleaning and, and putting stuff together to get it ready to move to the storage unit. So I've had this, um, I had a, a daily bugle the one with Dr. Doom, and it was missing like four pieces. One of the pieces it was missing was one of the stickered tiles to the uh, billboard that's on the front of it. Mm. You know, it's supposed to look like a Jumbotron or whatever. Right, yeah. So one, so one of them was missing. So I've had it on my wanted list probably for six months. I finally went in the store and made a little order, and they had it, so I bought it. So the other <laughs> day I'm cleaning out. Guess what I found? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, unused found sticker sheet. Because oh. when, I made, when I made my daily bugle mock, I yeah. had bought I had bought some without the fig, so I could. I found it. I'm like, oh my goodness! I didn't even realize I had this, and I've been waiting on this part for six months. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but 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 but, do you need all of the stickers? Or no, just I just needed the one. So now I have a unused sticker sheet. To I guess yeah. I'll put it in my Brickling store. I was gonna say, yeah. What's it worth? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I found two pieces of monorail track. Why? <laughs> Why? I have no idea. I did put those in my store, though. Because I have no use for them. What? You're selling monorail tracks? I have no use for them. Okay. So. Yeah, that's you know, one of the things. I should, I, I should do a video of, like, top things I will never, I intend to never sell. Right. And ten, 10 things I never want to keep. Well, I was kind of on the fence until I saw until Joey started talking about ripping all his monetary mm. rail out of his city. I did. I was like, well, if it's not good enough for Joey, I guess it's not good <laughs> enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> I almost we I got all that pulled up and then I went and I started uh uh figuring out how much track I gotta put the ballast and you know I, and I went to the box that had what I thought was dark blue oh yeah. Track. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I didn't have near as much as I thought. In fact, yeah. the box had a lot of RC track in it. I guess at some point I just was throwing dark blue in it and whatever. <clears throat> so I only had, I only had uh, like 10 pieces and I needed, I, I ended up ordering like 14, but I thought, I thought of you for a little bit of uh, Jabo. Cause I thought, you know what? I'm going to see if he wants to do a trade <laughs> for the color, but then I got to thinking, okay, well, first oh, like, dark you blue, want, I, I, I yeah, because I have tons color. of the, the other color, but the, the other color is and it when you look at it on brick, so I don't the, think the it's a dark color. bluish gray is actually more rare than dark it is, gray. yeah. Yeah. But then I got to thinking, okay, I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna order it from Europe and it's gonna cost me twenty dollars in shipping. And then it's like, well, if I pay to ship mine there and then ship it from you, and even if we work it, it's still gonna be expensive. Yeah. So I just ordered it and just be done with it. So this is what I do with track I, I always think ahead i have when when i'm looking at a store and things they have they got dark if they got straight track for three dollars mm -hmm. or less i buy it right um i try to avoid the four dollars <laughs> but if it's three dollars or less i just mm -hmm. go ahead and buy it yeah <clears throat> even if it's I'm, only one piece i'm like that too i mean that's the track is the when i need to finish an order or get to a certain price point Train yeah. track is the first thing I do yeah. is go look at it. Got a nine volt track? 
Yeah. I've bought so much of the blue track. I'm like, it kind of overwhelms me thinking of assembling it. Yeah, that stuff is, it doesn't stay together real well either. Yeah. So when I was out of work, my wife was going to help me set up something in the yard. I'm like, you do realize this is going to take a lot longer than we you think. Because yeah. it's like assembling track. Even if it's just nine volt track, it takes right. a long time to it's set long up. Time. Yeah. 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 Uh, Space Time Brick Studio, Harrison Ford is on the large Indiana Jones set. Well, he was. Yeah. So they took him so they off. put a sticker there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chris Cummings, if I know anything about European semis, a person can move the front dual wheels on the steering axle location. To the first axle location on the trailer because some trailers have single tires on axles as extra wheels for axle weight combination for mm. bridges. One of the first semi books I ever read had all of that crazy information that is now only useful for my hobby. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here I know they can move the back wheels on semi. Yeah. Okay. So I guess shift the weight the weight in the trailer. Why do why are they call semi? Hmm. It's like it's not. It's like it's it's a semi trailer. Does that does that I, mean I, it's like it separates from the the cab? Is that what they're called semis? I don't know. We can Google it. We can Google it. That's for sure. Maybe we can have our viewers. Yeah, let, let, let yeah, 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 our viewers yeah. answer, and, yeah. they, and they don't have to be the right one either. Yeah, wrong answers only, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you like that AI channel? Just say whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mimi Don do Lego. I wish they would bring back those flip front boxes. I don't see why they couldn't on smaller sets. Yeah. Nothing would fit back in the box though. Well, but. it's probably because, in, because they would have to make a tray because you wouldn't want to open a flap and just see bags in there. So they would have yeah. to do a tray to present something. Well, and some so of that, the boxes that had the flap didn't open to anything where you can see the pieces It'd be like, did you, didn't you have something like that where it was just a flap, but you're not looking at a clear. Right. Thing. Some was just a picture. Oh like, yeah. 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 It's, a lid. yeah. it's like a cover. Yeah. Instead of a. It's yeah. like somebody designed that box, but then forgot. Oh yeah. That was supposed to have a clear piece in it. So let's just put a picture, you know, it was like a, I don't know. It was weird. And so like with the, um, and then there's boxes that open up that didn't, open up anything so alex was talking about the cafe corner and how oh, he yeah. had uh, the tip more typical like uh box and i got the one because i bought it when it first came out so i got the one that you destroy the box to open it to open it but so, he's saying there was one that was you yeah like that and then there was one that had a lid that opened i had the lid that opens okay but it's not it it it's like a lot of those sets from the early 2000s where you open them and it rips the sides. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And you can did use you it see, to store it back in. But Did you notice the prices of those boxes? Yeah. Just the empty crazy. box? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Crazy. Uh, Chuck's bricks. We always hear about white bricks becoming yellow. Now we have to worry about yellow boxes becoming white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. uh, there was a reply, Collector's Almanac, Isaac, Brickton, Isaac Brickton's Third Law of Lego. Every reaction has an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, <laughs> Isaac Brickton. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> Ty Novell, a.k.a. Tylenol. <laughs> November 1st, I'm enjoying Dr. Jabo's Missitol, and I didn't uh, get anything. I still have a pile of shame that I still have to get oof. building. Yeah, that's uh, let me tell you if you ever want to know how much stuff you got, try to box it all up. Yeah, oh, yeah, you you feel good. You 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 boxed a lot of stuff, you moved it, and you come back home, you're like, yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> uh, Pasta Jensen, as we all know, the reason for the high price of the factory tour is for the exclusive set you get. I mean, that must be like. 20,000 20, 20, 20, doll hairs. <laughs> he put DKK yeah. uh, of the cost alone. 
Yeah, that's uh I mean just reprinting the box with a new picture has gotta be pricey. Chris yep. Cummings, does anybody remember the the originally a Disney movie, The Black Hole from 1979? Yes. I believe the graphics in the intro had a grid pattern. Yep. I didn't I ever just watch recently, it, but I remember it. I just recently rewatched that. Did you? In the last few months. It was I don't know, it just came up across the You were the able to watch it. Me? Yeah, it was streaming it. on something, yeah. And you watched the whole thing. I did. Man. <laughs> you just, you thought it was that bad of a movie? I've never actually seen it. Oh, really? <laughs> it had uh, it was one of those guy that movie. was a cowboy. I thought the movie was bad when I saw the trailers for it. So I never went to see it as a kid. <clears throat> I saw it as a kid and I had the toys and everything. I thought it was wow. a great movie. Now, when I watched it again here recently, I mean, I was it. It has not held up well. Well, they didn't know what a. They didn't the 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 people that wrote it and made it or whatever they had no understanding what a black hole was. Well, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. When I was a kid, I don't know that I did either, or or was really trying to science fact check it. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, they parked the the ship just on the event horizon of the black hole, and it only took them whatever yeah. seconds to get there. It's like, come on, you guys yeah. are way, way away from it, yeah. or whatever. You know, it's like with Star Trek, and you know, in, sure. in Star Wars, you can suspend disbelief if, if that's or is it suspend belief? I can never remember which one of those I'm supposed I to think use. You're... <laughs> but like, you, you know, it's okay. This isn't really happening or can't happen, but right, I can go with it, right. And it's like, and also, like, you look at the old Star Trek, you know, they didn't know how technology was going to change. No. It's, it's, and it's neat to see things they got right, but then they're like yeah. way wrong. Yeah. And 10 years ago, in two months, it'll be 10 years since uh, Back to the Future went to the future. It was 10 years ago. Oh, did that make any sense? Huh? Oh, it's 10 years. It, it's about to be 2025. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, they went yeah. to the future of 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When people had hoverboards. Right. So it was wrong. But right. I can oh, live God. with that. But if you just don't pay attention to what actually is reality at the time, <laughs> right? then you get a movie like The Black Hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Marty's Bricks. Awesome episode, guys. Perfect entertainment while building Kobe set 5859, the MiG 28 from Top Gun. That sounds wow. pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Chuck's Bricks. Jokes modern kids won't get. What is black and what is black and white and red all over? Newspaper. Uh, <laughs> that, or, or as us kids used to say in elementary school, a bloody newspaper. <laughs> a bloody newspaper. <laughs> What's black and white and never red? <laughs> Newspaper. <laughs> Newspaper. Yeah. Uh, Ty Novell. The reissued Galaxy Explorer didn't do as well here, and they had to discount it so massively to clear it out. Granted, it's a big set, and that may be the reason why it wasn't selling well. It's still sold, but not too well. If Lego made a new space set for a cheaper price point, though, the results may differ. Well, that's what we were just mentioning that because... There is going to be a Black Tron set, it sounds like, coming out, which is going to be about the same price point. I have a thing, though. Everything about this, we're all just speculating. Sure. I mean, they could have done enormously well. Right. Just because they put something on sale doesn't mean right. it was performing badly. Right. They could have sold more of those than any other set on the shelf, but yeah. they just made more. Or maybe they just continued to make them. Well, yeah. uh, again, this was a set that Walmart was, it was more or less a Walmart exclusive, kind of like the Costco truck. Like you, you get it from yeah. Lego, but you, it was going to be at Walmart. But Walmart may have said, we need X millions of these so yeah. that we have them for Christmas and we don't want to run out. So yeah. they may have overproduced it. And, you know, I'm sure Walmart had to pay. I don't know. I don't know their, their agreement. What it, but I, Lego just didn't give them all those sets for free and wait till they no. sold. But I don't, I don't know. We'll never really know. 
Uh, collector's Almanac. I was really let down by the price of the city sets this year. A bunch of sets I wanted, but most were the 60 to 100 pounds. Well out of the price range for me and let alone a child. Yeah, I guess it's because they have those big molds or whatever. Mm -hmm. The junior sets are the ones I think are really disappointing. Yeah. Uh, because those are for smaller kids and they are way expensive, overpriced. Yeah. Even the small ones. Uh, Chef Eddie. Chef Eddie has a question for the panel. What percentage of Lego City builders do you think are really just model railroad builders? By that I mean Lego sets are of less interest than setting up trains and train related landscapes and cityscapes. So I guess what he's saying is it's because they like to they like to set up Lego train layouts and put Lego buildings around it. Yeah, I mean, I kind of read it as how many people who are city builders are building Lego cities, but really they would have built, they're building it because they're they need train a, people. Scenery for their train layout. Right, scenery mm -hmm. for their train layout, yeah. <clears throat> I could tell you that I think there's a lot cheaper way to model a model train than Lego. Yeah. I mean, it's not well, exactly the cheapest it, scenery. At, so in 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 theory, or not theory, but like when people imagine, like, have, oh, Lego makes trains. I'm going to put a train in my city. Right. The, the people that aren't experienced, like with the train hobby, they quickly realize the problem with Lego trains is – it's like putting a garden railroad on your table. Nobody puts a garden railroad <laughs> on a table because it's just too big. Yeah. Right. It's it's hard to, to yeah. put it in. Lego is very grid. Yeah. And trains. Curves don't work well with. No. No. They don't. <clears throat> um, the other thing that I always see. I, I see this with every Lego if you are a model railroader and you're working in HO, the buildings per square foot on an HO train layout is, I don't know, one per two or three square feet, <clears throat> unless it's like a city. And then it's still, it's not going to be yeah. a whole lot of building. Every single stud available on a Lego city that has a train, or I didn't even have to train, even just Lego cities will have something. There is no green space at all in Lego City. Every building is side by side. Every city has a sidewalk or people. It, it's, I, and I don't know what the difference is. It's, it's <clears throat> well, I think part of the difference is because Lego cities don't look realistic and modern and uh, model railroads, they're trying for more of a realistic look. And, and here in the United States, at least everything's spread out. You know, the problem is that model railroaders are polar opposites to Lego builders because um, there is almost a hundred percent, almost a hundred percent of model railroaders do things that people that are in the Lego hobby like shudder at. They, oh yeah, they cut, they yes. glue, they <laughs> paint. The, it, it's it's all custom. Yeah, uh -huh. it's almost a hundred percent custom. Everybody that does model trains, they customize it. Whereas you know how, people yeah. in Lego, they their only custom is they build it differently out of Lego. Maybe they're, they're not going to cut it and glue it and paint it. Look, I, I've been promising to do the '60s space diner with my diner mock, and I've bought things. I, you know, I mean, you know, I had viewers send me stuff to do that i have yet to do it and i've i've looked at it i've fiddled with it i've tried you know what holds me back more than anything i don't want to change the modular mm -hmm. yeah and, and i run into that same problem i don't that's why i don't mills plate i want to i like i mm -hmm. like the the thought of it mm -hmm. i don't want to change my set <laughs> right <clears throat> i know i feel the when you're building a set a, a modular or whatever if you're building a set if you let's say you have a one by two and you get like you get to the end of that bag and you're like, this one by two has got to go somewhere. Right. And you flip back. Right. Mm -hmm. And you flip back 
and you see where it is and to get it in there you've got to take apart half of that whole step yeah. do you feel guilty if you don't get that one by two in there well there is no not getting it in there yeah. it's going in there <laughs> you feel guilty you feel yeah, guilty i guess you're right yeah. you know what i mean i and that and you know, going back to the question you asked earlier i think the one that you should always the type of build that you should always put lay out all your pieces before you start assembling a step as a technic set mm. because you talk about i have done that where i've not got a part right and you miss something on the inside it's a nightmare mm -hmm. uh -huh. to take a, to get into the middle of a technic set and yeah put a bushing on that you forgot that's critical to the gear turning correctly or something yeah but, yeah you're 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 taking yeah that 100 percent apart yeah mm. uh ty novell when this when this started i thought this episode was brought to you by the blue shirts i don't suppose you guys coordinated what color shirt we are wearing blue were we were we <laughs> just so you know Ty Novell, this episode we told Jabba we were all going to wear ties, <laughs> and we fooled him. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wicked Paul, I was going to buy all the Wicked sets this month, but now I'm not. Lego have really annoyed me with them. We already have Dorothy, Toto, Tin Man, Scarecrow, Lion, Wicked Witch, and the Two Wing Monkeys minifigs. Yet for Wicked, they give us mini dolls. Dolls, yeah. Could have finished finished uh, off the Oz collection, but they ruined it. Even if I didn't, even if people didn't want the sets, they would have got them to complete the fig collection. You know, I that's about that. And that is really true because how many people, myself included, buy some sets just because of the. I do it for Marvel and people do it for Star Wars all the time. Mm. Jabo just bought a Star Wars set just for the. Bob, the wasn't it? Yeah, Jedi Bob. Yeah, so he's not uh, even real. <laughs> <laughs> he's an AI fig. <laughs> Game character, wasn't he? Uh, yeah. So that is that's probably a big miss that they didn't even they don't even re they don't even realize it's a big miss. No, no, no and I so when Lego got something they want to do well, they will double down on it, even when everybody hates it. Yeah, <laughs> we want Why? you to like these. We want you to like mini dolls. Yeah. Why do they not buy these? Don't they understand they're superior? That's what we want them to buy. <laughs> because you know, the Lego has gone through that thing sometimes where they they want to get away from the minifigure. They don't want people to be so fanatic about the minifigures that they will only buy a set if it has a minifigure in it. Right. And I think that's why you see what, like with the art theme, you know, they try to make things that are the botanical stuff where the, you're not going to have a minifigure in it, but it's like people love minifigures. Mm -hmm. I kind of thought at first and I, uh, but I think they got around it or figured it out or whatever. I thought it was because they didn't have trademarks and patents and stuff because they don't have, trademarks and patents and things for all, i mean i guess you can't really patent all the they patented the tubes and stuff inside the brick because that was patentable but each individual part <clears throat> is not patentable because yeah. it's just a different so i kind of figured they were afraid to lose the minifigure to everybody else but they defend it pretty hard yeah i think they defend it on based on the trademark trademark image or whatever they call it <clears throat> Uh, Brickstar says at the six minute and 57 mark, Earl called it. Yeah, that's when I was saying that the wheels were going to be backwards in your set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You called uh, it all right. Ian Wozniak, how much are Lego imports going to go up with Trump's very bigly super smart tariff idea? Should we start hoarding them now before January? <laughs> all right. So, people, just because <laughs> somebody says they're going to do something. <laughs> Doesn't mean it'll ever become a reality. Yeah. So yeah. you can imagine things that doesn't make them true. You can say you're going to do something that doesn't make it true. So right. Don't don't worry about something now that no, hasn't happened. When it, when it happens, you, the, the people will adjust. When you raise taxes on people, people change their spending. So if they raise the tariffs on the imports, then you'll have a situation like Minitalia. Where okay, we'll just make all the sets in Italy, 
if you're going to tariff Italy, then people in Italy can buy it. So if, it, then guess what's coming to the United States? A factory. Yep. And so if they have a factory here, it won't matter. Well, that's <clears throat> from a business standpoint, it doesn't matter about the to uh, the politics or yeah. the, the the tariffs. Or all of that set aside, it is still cheaper for Lego to manufacture the sets in the United States for the United States and probably Canada because the shipping is not that bad. But it makes sense for them to do it here all the politics aside. So I, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'm not hoarding anything. Yeah. No more I did. Yeah. We're uh -huh. not, well, well, I'm not hoarding anymore. We're not hoarding it because of that, but we are hoarding. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hoarding any extras. I don't need a reason. I don't need, yeah. I don't need a reason. Uh, I, Mayo. Did you guys, sorry, I didn't want to, uh, while Go we're ahead. talking about factories. Go ahead. Uh, have you seen the German, there's a Lego, there's a Lego store. I think it's in the, Le uh, Lego land, but there, there's the Lego store, and they kind of have a Lego factory. At any rate, they got lots of bulk. I hope they do something like that. Yeah, I you would think they would because they know they got people here that like, especially all the lugs and stuff that buy yeah. lugs. Well, it's like just make it where they can just go and buy the stuff. It, well, you won't have to. You won't have to pack it. They pack their own orders. They'll pack their own orders. Yeah. I mean, it, they they are missing out. They don't have to build a Lego land or nothing. They don't have to build a Lego house, but they are missing out if they do not build something there that is a destination yeah. for yeah. Lego fans. I think they will. They they. Better. I can't imagine Lego being that dumb. Never mind. Yeah, I can. Wait a minute. <laughs> Finish that statement. What? <laughs> Wait. I know what they'll do. They'll make an app for it. That's what yeah. they'll do. <laughs> Uh, Mayo Mayo says, I'll help Earl stop laughing. The Eagles have the best combination of ownership, GM, line of scrimmage, quarterback, cornerbacks, and them. Well, that's not true, Mayo. The Eagles. The Eagles. That's they can't even true. beat the Falcons. The Saints don't. That is true. <laughs> and Jabos Falcons will win the division. Well, I will we're, tell you this. I, I, told, we're, everybody, we're, I told everybody, anytime a team gets an interim coach, Put all your money on them because they might. Hey, they, I guarantee you, they win over half the half the time when they with an interim coach. And if they don't win, they play their hearts out and they cover. So <laughs> at least like, the first game. <laughs> that's what the Falcons did with the coach they have now. When he was the interim coach, mm -hmm. they played a whole lot better then. Mm -hmm. a few years it might ago. only last one or two weeks, yeah. and then it's back to what they were. You before. never want to be the first game. Yeah. That but you, that don't, you don't want to be the opposing or... team on the first game with the interim coach. Uh, simply way to get sidetracked, stick to the rundown, wake, build, ramble, <laughs> wake, build, ramble, repeat. Earl laughed longer this episode than it took me to binge Joey's American Freedom Train. <laughs> 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 if you ever run out of things to talk about, Jabo and myself, can hop in Rufus's phone booth at Time Machine and go back to 1974. <laughs> hmm. If you can find Rufus's phone booth. Uh, Ian Watson hmm. says, as Earl reads this comment, will he realize that the order, the order out or words, <laughs> the order of words, are out, <laughs> the words are out of order. I am, I am smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one, buddy. I got that one. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I see that comment and I was like, what is he? What? Oh. <laughs> we had a lot of, that was a lot of comments. How yeah. many was that? 53. Um, what's the set you think did better than the Galaxy Explorer? It sold more. Hmm. Better. It's comparable. Than the Maybe a $100 set. Um, uh, I'd have to look back over the list to see what was when a comparable set that I think sells. I think um, I would say it's probably one of the Winter Village sets. Okay, you want to well, talk about one that year or one previous year or whatever? Doesn't matter. Is there a hundred dollars? Just recent. Which Winter Village? I think Gingerbread House. I think was the last one. Do you have a place that says what they? So Gingerbread House. I'll look at it. Yeah, uh, one zero two six seven, or 
oh, there's another. Okay. One. So wow. uh, that was, I just want to do a quick check with Brickset. Yeah. 3,000 more people claim that they own the gingerbread house than the Galaxy Explorer. I, I know it's not uh, an accurate. How many people claim they own the Galaxy Explorer? 13,000. And 16,000 claim they own the gingerbread house. I think it's not it's not a scientific poll or uh -oh. anything, but it, I just wanted to see if there was other things that hmm. indicate like how well it sold compared to other things according to who claims they own it. And you know okay. you can throw away about 10, 10 of these because it's those guys that say they own everything. No, there's going to be a plus or minus margin. No, I like it. It's actually a very good... I think it's a it's a pretty solid uh, statistic. What another one that to go with that? What was the Galaxy Explorer's current value? Oh, because this gingerbread house is one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Yeah. So that so that was that set twenty twenty three. That set was actually twenty nineteen. There's another one of twenty twenty. Yeah, and the Galaxy Explorer is still less than retail. That was twenty. So the it's Galaxy Explorer was, in the current value is less than retail. The Galaxy Explorer was twenty nineteen. No, no, no. The Gingerbread House was the Galaxy okay. Explorer was what twenty? Are they twenty? It's not still in stores, is it? No, not now. But it's like yeah. yeah the, it says the average retail price is ninety seven, or the average value now is ninety seven dollars for a new one, and that's so, less than retail, and it's discontinued. And it's discontinued. That's a good indicator. If a set is discontinued and immediately goes up in value that usually means it was in demand so the, the 2023 demand, yes. jazz club uh modular was the jazz club and ten thousand people say they own it there's a higher <laughs> price point but it's still little... you know people do buy the mm -hmm. modulars um you're right and P oh, that's what i'm saying is all the people buy the modulars and yeah. it's equal to the galaxy explorer yeah. What's its value versus the retail on that? Um, that one's still in stores. Yeah, it's still okay. It's not just so. Yeah, it's about, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I I uh, so <clears throat> I still say it was because they overproduced. Yeah. yeah. Everybody got two or three. I got two or three, and I didn't have to work at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got. I bought one at regular price. Seventy five dollars, you could buy them all day long. Yeah. Well, for you're on sale, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What's the most overproduced set that you've personally seen, or or uh, you go in a store and you're like, oh, this is overproduced. I was thinking uh, about back in the day, it was that that Joker steamroller set. Oh, mm -hmm. remember that one? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It's still not worth that much. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. I parted that one out not too long ago. That's how I know. Didn't have very good part out value or yes. sealed value either. Um, those those planet spheres. Yeah. Mm. There was a lot of those sitting on the shelves. Well, yeah, I tell you, yeah, I tell you, one of the most overproduced sets I remember, or most overproduced themes that. It seemed like it took them years to get rid of is studios. All those studio sets that now probably are in demand, but like the Temple of Gloom, the mm -hmm. the Cameraman, mm -hmm. um, all the, the the smaller sets, there was just like you, they couldn't get rid of them. Yeah. Didn't they have kind of the same problem with the pirates? It seems like I remember Kmart had a lot of pirates. Oh yeah, I remember a lot of pirates. Yeah, on discount and clearance and stuff. Blue light special. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I tell you what, I see now. It's a different time currently in the Walmart's is Speed Champions on sale. No, they. Just I'm lots talking about of them. Just lots of them. Oh. Lots of speed champions. I, speed champions is one of those things. Cause you remember when we were kids, they had the models, right? You would build models, mm -hmm. glued mm -hmm. model. I mm -hmm. look at speed champions as kind of that same thing. It's a car. Mm -hmm. You're going to build it. You know, maybe dad's helping you build the model. And then it's something you can actually play with when it's done yeah. that, that kids will continue to play with uh, as, as the set is built there, you know, Legos intended to be taken apart and build something different, which is what I did with most of my space sets. But 
I think kids build a race car or Mustang or mm -hmm. whatever. And they're like, Oh, I got it. And they, you know, then you got people like Alex who put them on a wall. <laughs> I don't know. Not that I don't do that. I, I don't understand this displaying a car sideways on a wall. I don't understand that. Just the edge of it. You mean, so that's all you see. Uh, like, I've seen it where people mount them on the wall. And oh yeah. It. Alex has got yeah. them like that. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess this you can see the whole car that way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But speed champions, I think is they, they, they did good with that theme. I think. Yeah. I guess, they, oh, they've done yeah. really good with that theme, but I, I just seems like this last, the last two runs of they they're just, I think I the, uh, it. Overuse of stickers and they're running out of cars to make. Yeah, yeah they probably, you know, and I'm sure it's all about licensing, right? Because they're going to want Ford has a car and then Dodge has a car, and you know, they're all like, so, oh, we got to have Arma. So they've probably produced too many too quick. So they came out with the NASCAR on the last, the last series. Yeah. The it was like, what is it, purple and orange and it's a speed yeah. champion mm -hmm. and everybody went, talked about how ugly it was and they didn't like the car. And I just wanted to say, have you people ever seen a NASCAR race? Well, that's the, right. that's yeah. the whole point of the car. Have you, have you ever seen a NASCAR race? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> it's like when you accurately represent the, the reality <laughs> and they're like, Oh, this looks terrible. Yeah. I have to remember when I'm building sets from the sixties, in 70s those vehicles i'm like okay yes this is we had blocky cars <laughs> these 60s and 70s yeah but i would like you know speed champions it, it sounds like it pigeonholes it into just race cars yeah but, it's not but it should really just be cars like mm -hmm. make a 1977 honda civic wait nobody probably won't that <laughs> But yeah, I get what you're they saying. They got one in Smithsonian. They should. Well, they you're saying they should make classic cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, classic cars. They should do classic cars. I I don't disagree with that. I think it's a good idea. They should do. I think do cars from TV or movie. Yeah, you know, Starsky yeah, and Hutch. Yeah. Yep. Um, Sanford and Son. Do 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 do. Which classic car? Would you like to see in the in the class Brady Bunch the station wagon? Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I'd I'd oh wait, the, no, Greg had the convertible, the red convertible. I'd want the Trans Am from Smokey and the Band. Yeah, oh that's, yeah. That's a classic right that's there. Great, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that was what was in my uh, yellow castle for years on the shelf. I don't know if you yeah. ever it. <laughs> no, I didn't know. Wow. All right, so somebody has put in here a new segment idea. Yes, I have a new segment idea. Okay, yes, these episodes are getting way too short, so we need. Yeah, to yeah we got so, to so them out. not. What if we did a segment called "What's More Likely"? Okay, and just you know, just come up with an off the wall topic. What's more likely? You like it? Yeah. What's I more likely, I would. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if we could just take like Lego speculations and what's more likely they'll do this or this is going to happen. Right. Or, you know, stuff like that. You know, what's more likely video yo should be buried in the, in the ground or the dragon's going to be a hundred dollar fig. Can you imagine um, that this would have been classic if, it, if that figure that I had one married you with the one that... <laughs> the one that you buried. Did wait? Did I hear, did, did I read correctly, Joey? That you don't have that figure. I, I know have... he does. You missed the show and tell. Yeah, and um, I dropped it, so half the figures fell off. So there's the hundred dollar figure. Okay, but I also have. On his desk, he just pulled it, whipped it right up. I He's got the other one. <laughs> I just dropped him. There's the red one. Oh wow! Is he worth a lot too? Forty bucks. Okay, wow. That well, it's you, a lot. You know what it is. That one came in the sets that were on clearance that people parted out. Okay, right. Yeah, you might have that one. That I looked. I'll look at him. 
Well, and I bet you that just started with like the Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. I bet, so you may have them in. Your, well, you probably don't. If you if you had them, they're probably gone now. But yeah, that might be one that would go up in value. Yeah, I looked. I put it out like three video sets, and they weren't the ones with the dragons. So it's almost like you could do like what what themes sucked that everybody hated, but because everybody hated it later, stuff in it became valuable. <laughs> what is that so so you know i'm all i uh trying to think what oh so there's um what is that what's that thing the newer theme that we poke fun at all the time the one that tells you to imagine how you're going to build it Dream. oh, dreams. dreams yeah so those those dreams figs people are like pushing those on whatnot oh my goodness yeah but they ain't worth anything well, I mean, like a brick link. You, you would think, but on whatnot, people are paying ten, twelve dollars a piece for them. So they're like the. I don't the, understand. The, they're yeah. famous for being what, famous. I haven't, I haven't got on whatnot in in some time, but. Yeah. I can't. I mean, whatnot as a buyer is the way I look at it. As a buyer, it's like it's completely useless to me. Right. And it's not just because like I, I'm always looking for deals. You know, it's like I don't. I never find anything that I want on that. Yeah, side. you just gotta just hang out and look at. You might be in there for thirty or forty-five minutes, and then finally something comes up that you're like, "Oh, that's, oh, I could use. I, I might bid on that." You mini figures. Yeah. What if you don't even want mini figures? Like I, I was, I had this whole video I was gonna do because you know I, I had they've reached out to me to. In fact, the guy kept like, "Are you going to sign up?" Or you because you had to do like a interview to mm. to do it. And I was like, "No, just give it to me." Or and I didn't want to do the interview. I was just like, "Right." <laughs> but, yeah. um, I was going to do a video. or like, "Okay," because you see those whatnot commercials, and they're like, "How many things can we buy oh, with a hundred dollars?" And they go through, and it's like in thirty seconds, you see them going through all this. I'm like, "Okay." Uh, what Lego trains can I buy on whatnot? And it'd be like, I type in Lego train and no results. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, then I come up with something else that's pretty common. No results. Speed champions. No results. That's, that's, that's my experience on whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Never find anything. Well, isn't that like MNR? Doesn't that, did he do a lot of He's, that? Yeah. And, so the way he does it is, is is the way that it works because people know him. Yeah. He has a following. Him. Yeah. And so you're going to have a lot of people on there. Yeah. Whenever he does one. And, and I'll tell you the dumbest, the dumbest things is people will sometimes sell stuff and they'll be like, uh, it might be a poly bag or a, um, a little set or something. And then they'll be like, "You want me to sign it for you?" No. Who are you? Why would I, not. Why would I want you to sign. My... Right. <laughs> for what? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Let me lower the value of your poly yeah. bag by. They don't do. It. Yeah, they don't. Oh, do so it, 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 I, you know, I did the thing where I was signing the bricks. Yeah. And right. people would request them, and I would just give them to people, but I would have people buy the brick in my store and then ask me to sign it. And I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I, sometimes there, some of the uh, older orders, I would just get another brick and sign it. And they would still get, <laughs> get the brick. They get two, yeah. two by four red bricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you don't have to buy the brick. Just ask me. I'll, right. I got a whole drawer full of the bricks. <laughs> Oh, well, geez, we're at the two and a half hour mark. I know it. Stacy was, she was, she was a, she was a good guest. She did. Yeah. She did good. We need to, have, <clears throat> we need to have her back on. She's got a listing on her YouTube page of all the places that she's guest, guest, been a guest on or whatever. And I thought she had done a lot more podcasts. Maybe she just hasn't updated that section, but we she's got us up there twice. That would be three oh, times that's good. more than anywhere else. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, as she grows, we'll grow with her. <laughs> <laughs> well, her channel's doing really good. She should get. Is she getting to 
ten thousand? Yeah, I think she's. Oh, think she's, she's over. Hit, well, yeah, over I think she's hit ten thousand. So oh. years ago, uh, YouTube did this thing they started called Creator on the Rise, mm. and uh, that's where they feature different up and coming people, and there, you end up getting more views on your your videos for that week or however long it is that you're on there. Well, I feel it's happened to, she's not the first one, but there were other people that I had already been following that got that. Oh, that's and good. That's like, so I was, you know, was a couple months ago, she, she was on there as creator. Well, on let, the me tell you, let me tell all you people out there, if you want to be up and coming, reach out and visit with us because we have launched Brian <laughs> and we have launched <laughs> <laughs> who's next <laughs> well i mean we i i think we helped uh uh lego my james though too he was on the channel yeah, on the podcast. yeah. we even got that uh jason and the other guy they like, yeah oh, i mean no. we're <laughs> them guys skyrocketing yeah, alex would be nowhere without us that's right <laughs> he would be nowhere without us <laughs> nowhere so so much like a politician we can just take credit for all the successes and shift the blame <laughs> for all the failures <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> all right are we gonna i'm a, i promise i'm gonna hit the right button when you get done <laughs> don't cut him off i won't get him off this time <laughs> <laughs> i need a signal though yeah well i'm just glad they watched another episode i'm glad they watched this long even though stacy still wasn't on here <laughs> and if you remember that stacy was on here hit the like button <laughs> if you and if you and if you didn't like that she left, hit the dislike button. It's Joey's channel. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs>